I'm still like pretty lost to who I even want to play in this game. I don't think any character can save me at this point. So I'm not an expert on Fong's matchups or anything, but I'm pretty sure this is Fong's worst matchup. I don't know that. It just seems like it would be. I think Lara is, honestly. Oh, Lara could be really shitty too. Because on reaction to EX elbow or on reaction EX command grab to anything that he does yeah. is kind of uh, it's yeah. kind of bad. Both of them have the normals to fight. His normals at least yeah. okay. He says Jury, then Laura, then Kami. Jury worse. Jury is kind of a counterfeit character, you know. She can be, yeah. Probably because of her V skill. You just go full screen and you wait for him to do something. A lot of people say Jury is very shrug, but there are matchups where she's just very, very solid. Yeah, because she's yeah. she's that one character that fills that weird archetype where she just does nothing. She's no, kind of like anti. Uh, she's kind of anti-defensive. Yeah. But she's not like super rushdown. She's just anti-defensive. Like she loses yeah. the rushdown characters. Yeah. Which sucks. Round one. Fight. It's like weird because yeah, me too. Fong is normally okay against um. Uh, footsie warranty characters. That's where he can really shine. Like if you see him against Kareem. Oh, not good. Ooh, punish. the sweeps. I just feel like Kami can just approach like anytime she wants to. It's not anytime, but like when she has bar, she can turn meter into an approach so easily. Yeah, that's not just in this matchup though. That's in a lot of matches. It's just it especially sucks against Fong because his yeah, you, she, she can use it to like reaction counter. Ooh. She can ex dive kick. She can like ex spiral arrow. Ooh, everyone takes a throw there. It's better to just get thrown. I just hold down back. Damn, the damage. T Kamara, ready. Round two. Capcom is <laughs> Capcom is Fang's worst matchup. Damn. Yeah. Yo, the combo. I love that poison taken away. It's really noticeable in someone like Cammy too. Yeah. <laughs> the the midair connect. That's not like an anywhere juggle, right? Like, you can't combo with that, can you? I don't think so. I've never tried it with camis, and never on a mid-air connect. Maybe. Maybe it is. Alright. I like that he's challenging, though. There we go. Even like a full V-trigger combo, camis a ways away. Yeah, look at that. This is the super far sweep. That's ballsy. Yeah. There's a lot of risk to that. <laughs> There's alright. There's a certain distance. I'm sure you've noticed. I've noticed. Uh, people do not block low past like half screen. They will just allow themselves to get by lows. Yeah, that's uh, that's dangerous against someone like Manat too. Yeah. Because that sweep reaches the next week. Or like um, Abigail. Yeah. Because he just rolls in. He in. Honestly, people tend to block low. Sweeps are kind of good, but they're. You know, they're insanely risky, so you still don't do them. But um, people tend yeah. to block low inside crouch medium kick range, but not... Like, that little range difference between crouch medium kick and crouch hard kick, people don't bother to make it up. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. There's the instant overhead. Fung's very deadly when you're almost dead. Indeed you do. Plus that poison, just take it away. Fun really helps. That was nice. Good stuff to Nefton. Yeah. Probably no, some character really... familiarity here, but Nefton's also a good Fong. The other good thing that I like watching Nefton play is like he hasn't been dis, dis uh, encouraged about anti like not once. Like yeah. he's been hit and gotten trades every time, but almost always trading with Cami on a jump in is almost always worth it. Yeah. He's like one of the characters who like kind of actually has to guess on Cami's jump ins. Like he has good anti airs against dive kicks and good anti airs against regular yeah. jumps, which is true for just about every character. But he has no. No good anti-air against both. Maybe yeah. the medium kick with the right particular timing. But you can see he's like mostly not anti-airing like regular stuff and he's like trying to jab the... Yeah, Ooh, I think there is the character corner. familiarity. Because that's normally... I think Tikamura has never, never had to seriously block that one. Yeah. He's never played an anime fighter. <laughs> that's the jab. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Like he just keeps, he keeps challenging it. And yeah, even though he's getting hit, it's worth it. Trading is A-OK. -okay. Especially against 900 health and yep. getting Whoa, down. burn the bar. That was good though. Just to make sure. Yeah. Burn the bar, burn the there, round. Yeah, if that was, that, was, that was covering his approach, and if he got in with it, nice punish. Uh, he had the instant overhead versus low. So it was like a very solid bar to spend. But then he accidentally won. 
I'm actually a little surprised that he fell for the shimmy there, because, like, Tikamori's gone through it two or three times now, and nothing didn't bite. I felt like it was, uh, it's kind of like he'd shown that card already. Yeah. Just the tip. Just the tip, Neftin! A little pretend threat from the V skill. Yeah. It's all, it's, that was all great though, because they kept him poisoned the entire time by staying super close to him. Yeah. So even though he was getting pummeled, like, yeah, he got some damage. Good oh, health. don't take the... Oh. Saves the oh. meter. Smart. Final We're not gonna have to talk about this matchup. Yeah, probably Disco. Give him the knowledge. The down towards yours. Nice. Tag them tail end. These are good trades. I made him oh, waste but... two bars too. The fact that Super's not a threat anymore is so big in this match now. Yeah. Nefton like has so much. Kimmy Super is literally now. free to land. Yeah. I mean, three X's is still good. That was Crouch Free's uh, getting beat. Yeah, so. Not good back throw. Oh. I like that. Trying to control space, trying to keep him poisoned. I like it. Keep that poison, keep it ticking. Can't be 900 health. So low. It's looking real good right now. Kemi doesn't yeah. have a lot of weapon. She has no meter, she's got very little approach. falling has got one meter. Pops a V-Trigger oh, to try and get in. Oh yeah, no! All, the there. all right, Kami's actually scary when she corners you. There it is. Hadn't been repping throws almost at all. Repped them twice in a row. That was nope. this just a true 50-50 in the corner, though. It's also strong against Fong because he has no wake-up option. Yeah. His one wake-up option is no better against the throw loop than not having a wake-up option. Yeah. I mean, backdash. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, that's, that's, that Back was probably the there. Yeah. I would have done it after the first one, just to kind of call him out. Just to, but see, I don't then, believe you. It's kind of a mediocre situation, because he has no buttons to grant inherent charge against, um, against that. And, like, Yeah, but it's, it's at least better than charge. nothing. Yeah, that, yeah. But it was going to be, like, backdash into, like, low strong into, into chill. Ooh, there's a counter. Finally challenges the dash. Right, that was a really important idea. That was really good. I like these poison balls. Balls for days. Back throw, takes it, optimal meter build, gone. Tika more match point. Oh, that was different. Round start dash in fierce. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying he's trying value. to play. Yeah. He's got to do something different now. He's got to shake it up. Tikamori is not feeling the uh, the shocks of learning a new match again. Yeah. I like all this. This is looking pretty good. I don't like the meter spend, though. Yeah. There's a lot of meter spent for not a lot going on. Tikamori didn't challenge. Ooh, didn't counter hit combo. Tikamori didn't challenge after Snowman House. Characters with three frame buttons can trade with Fong. He's plus one, but he only has four framers. I didn't realize that. I thought he was plus two. Good to know. I think he's plus one. I don't play Fong often, so you can be right. No, I'm second guessing myself. I'll check FA tool. Good spacing. Whoa, a Fong, yeah. That's right. First match, Fong. Ooh, back throw takes it. Yo, I love Fong throwing because the poison still ticks down while he's throwing. Yeah. Final round. If he had longer throw animations, I think that'd be cool too. I feel like they could, um, yeah, I know. I feel like they should buff his throwing a bit. I feel like that would kind of like be what he's all about. I think yeah. I should make him throw from farther away. No, you're right, it is a plus one. Yeah. So the thing is, like, that's a trade. And, like, you know, a trade is not necessarily good for you there. Nice combo. Ooh, the damage that leaves him close to stun can get so much scary pressure after this. If you're poisoned and you trade with him, like, you're not poisoned anymore. Oh, I didn't even need it. That's true. That's a kill, right? Just on you, yeah, just dialing on him. Just dialing on him. Tikamara felt so much better in that match. Takes it over Nefton. He looked real good game one. He looked real good the whole time, to be honest. Couldn't take yeah, it. Yeah, no, he, re he really did. I think uh, Tikamara just stopped being as timid. Yeah, he, there was he definitely... looked a lot more willing to seize opportunities yeah. in the second half. Yeah. Let's keep Tikamara on and get turned in here because that's the only match we can watch. Yeah, do that shit. It's go time. 
Yeah, Nevin says, I keep trying to counter hit anti air dive kick, feels yeah. bad. Unfortunately, Fong's only good anti air against dive kick that I'm aware of is it's very shitty. It's jump medium kick, it's like jump away medium kick, and you surrender so much ground doing shit like that. Yeah, you can't really do that as Fong because Cammy in the corner is um, yeah, terrifying. It's terrifying. But you're good. Jump back medium kick is okay against your normal jump in, and it's okay against your dive kick. It's just that, you know, the ground you sacrifice sucks. I actually, this, this is going to sound weird because it's so out of nowhere. I was watching some of your third strike primers the other day. Yeah. And uh, I saw the one about anti-airing in third strike yeah. and how a big option is either walk under and use a low or walk back and use a low. Yeah. And I was just thinking about that for Fong because Cammy's cross-up game isn't really a big thing. Yeah. It's, it's a lot more just, I'm going to dot, it's guess this timing. So maybe... Uh, Either using the meter to, to dash under or just using dash to get past it would have worked. I don't know. Round one. Fight. I think he's Got definitely one. better off not, like, either not trying to anti-air or not trying to... It sucks to even say that. Not trying to anti-air or not trying to um, offensively anti-air. There are sometimes where there are sometimes where it's really you have to pick your battles. Um, like, Kareen in this match... Um, She's obviously going to want to play something like footsies, so she's going to stop looking for things like any airs, I think. Quite strong. I think instant tenko was going to whiff there. He went for the regular tenko. There's like yeah. very few instances where the regular tenko is better than the instant one. The Just the more range. Yeah. That outfit's looking pretty, pretty clean, though. Yeah, I really like that. Turn gets on anyone's case whenever anyone doesn't punish the tenko. Punish the tenko. Yep. He's always like fucking all caps. It's minus ten dog. Yeah. He's like mad whenever anyone lets him get away with anything. <laughs> I was yelling at Cleavy Soul for it too, cause uh, I was playing Kareen against his Minot, cause I was uh, inspired by watching Punk again. I really liked the last uh, Grand Finals we had for uh, what was it? East Coast Throwdown. Yeah. Um, just oh. watching it was great. He got the counter hit. Didn't see it. Did a reaction yeah. cancel there. Can you cancel some like a lot of her buttons very very late? Ooh, punish time! Oh, oh no! Okay, could have been worse. Yeah, could have been a lot. All right, he could maybe have super canceled either of those. He's going for meme tech. That's such a bad <laughs> move. Meme tech. Yeah. I mean, it's right. You're not wrong. Yeah, we just kind of bad. It's good if it hits. You actually get a mix up if it hits. Yeah. But it's not a good mix up. This is a mix-up that's mathematically bad for Kareen. But on block, it's horrible. Yes. Uh, it's like minus 5 or 6. For the like light that. one, at least. Yeah, the light one's minus like 5. And then you can interrupt oh, the medium one with a 5 frame. Turn. With the same ass 5 frame normal. Alright, I like that. Air. Okay. Keeps the corner. Alright, that was a... I don't oh, really like the jump no over. Cancel. Watch turn do like a cross up. Oh. Oh. No punish. I think he was. I think he was there. looking for something. No, nah, super because he'll lose the corner. Yeah. Totally not worth using super unless he kills in this situation. Yeah. Honestly, I think it would have been better off using the meter to go for a, uh, a Tenko mix up. Maybe. You can tell when someone's trying to play super, super, super careful when it's like, oh my god, I just have to not die and I'll win. When they block something that's very unsafe and very reactable and don't pursue the punter. Yeah. Take Unfortunately, mercy. it seems like Turntables is actually playing a little bit like that. Like, he was doing... Literally, he popped V-Trigger and all he did was wreck it back away. He stopped playing the rest of her game. Yeah. Which is really bad, especially when you have Cammy cornered. There's so much shit you can do. Ooh, oh, big punish time! Ah, uh, dropped it. Yeah. That was the correct punish. That punishes all follow-ups. Two cuts, jabs into cancel. Take him right with the familiarity. Good back throw. Has a corner, has a lot of space to work with, but is walking backwards. Giving him so much space. Yeah. See, like, this is what I mean. He's going for cancels into Rekka instead of playing what her actual walk up game would be scary. Yeah. I think he tried to cancel into quarter circle there, but um, ran out of V meter just then. Yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, because Rekka's good, but it's like. By not doing, you know, walk up stamp light kick and, you know, crush wrong into other things, it's she loses a lot of her uh, 
or scariness, but uh, Tikamara, match point, just like that. Oh, big fun! Oh, he, he could have done Stamp Fierce. He 100% had Stamp Fierce. Uh, this is good positioning, though. Yo, she said, don't touch me! Get off me with that DXTP! Ah, uh, that shouldn't a bit too committal. Just a little bit. <laughs> the spin knuckle! What was he looking for there? I'm purely trying to bust out those plus frames. Get the extra sentiment, maybe. That's nice. This is a good meter to spend, I feel. Uh. Sorry, I Oh, it did. Wow, it did kill! I didn't expect that. I thought she'd just barely be alive, in which I was gonna say that was a bad choice. Because... Kami would have almost had V-Trigger and full super. So it would have been sneeze and a kill. Oh. But no. I like these punishes that Chikamura is pulling out for these sweeps. I, I know people complain a lot about uh, Kareen sweep, and that it's uh, hard to contest when you block can always it. Punish it. I think she can always punish yeah. it with Spiral Arrow damage. Uh, Tikamura, I think, showed that earlier. It was like the first thing that he went to, but now he's uh, messing around with different ones. Did stand forward as well. Kemi's, um, I mean, Kareen's minus 14, so as long as you can reach in that distance in that time, which I think Kemi's Stamina Pick does, and definitely her Spiral Arrow does. Yeah. Alright, but unfortunate. Spending the meter. It's okay here, I guess. Um, I would have used I'm, it a calling, bit later. I'm calling EXTP right now. Oh, that would have worked! It was guaranteed yeah. there! Turn check the swing. Oh no. Oh, he no fun it. He was dead. He was dead. No. Wow. What kind of reversal button was that? Reversal buttons are supposed to be good against the elbow. Damn. Went for the elbow Crash. and traded. Yeah. Not a reversal button. Eh. That's the only thing that I can think of. He T Camaro won that round if you just punished the first one. It can yeah, be really. tricky. I've I've fallen into that myself. Um the 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 what do you call that? The block stun of uh, the Round punch fall off is extremely long. Mm. So if you try and hit your button too early, it won't come out. It's yeah. like a lot longer than it looks. That three frame buffer window, not enough. <laughs> we need that KOF buffer system. Yeah, just hold down the button forever. Yeah. Especially I thought out recently that um, Blazbo does that too. I didn't know that. It's such a nice executional feature. Wow. Is it only for specials or is it all? It's, it works for normals and blast and specials. In KOF, I think it only works for special. Yeah, it's only for specials in KOF. That's surprising, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I know. I was doing trials and stuff and they became a lot easier. Roll is the EXP. Bust out. Say, unhand me! You will not touch this kimono. Both characters are actually pretty scary right now. That sucks. Yeah. Oh! Nice jump. That's big. Kareen is actually has a bigger. Punish there. Oh, drop the punish. Let him almost killed. Nice ain't here. He had a whiff punish there. Just yeah, the turn was being careful. A little too careful. Yeah. Yeah. Kareen is one of the only characters who can. Wow. Yep. There it is. DX, Rosanha would have punished every follow up there. Yep. But no, it's, uh, it's scary, man. Oh, the yep. damage. The extra sound has like one of the only like actual good reaction counters to hey, jump in. I guess the angle can be bad, but like jumps like that are normally like unpunishable for a lot of characters. That kind of short yeah. jump instant dive kick, but Kareen actually has a good response. Yeah. Alright. Oh he was close enough for it. Okay. Yeah. Good knowledge on Tikamura. Nice challenge. Yeah. Jump. It's a little desperate. Uh that's, that's why like the... turn doesn't <laughs> He's not trying to punish it. Nah, it's like the fourth time he's gone for that too. Take more takes it. Kami wins. Oh, I've got my match against Disco. Oh god. Last time I played this matchup I won the first match and then he bounced before playing the second one. Ah. Uh, is turnt always an ape like that? Yeah, yes. more or less. Damn! Yes, turnt is an ape. I, I'm literally 100% relying on um, Disco not knowing the spacing to stand at. I believe in you. And by I believe in you, I mean I'm going to critique everything that you do terribly. Get out of here, Tikamara. Let's do this. 
I've done just a little bit of research into this matchup, and by just a little bit, I mean I'm better than I was <laughs> yesterday. But um, hey. not good. The question that you have to ask yourself now is, do you believe in fate? Yeah, but I might be fitted to lose. <laughs> That's a good answer. Oh, he said that he practiced this match. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> he said he practiced it a lot last night. I'm just in case. 100% fucked. Yeah. All right, whatever. I'll just I'll just poke and see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. Turn played pretty clean, considering. Not really. Turn played really. You know, balls to the walls, just going for shit. All right, I've got the life lead. Yeah, now you just stand there. Oh shit! <laughs> Never mind, I'm done. Okay. Oh, you're dead. It's his own damn fault. Ooh, nice Bhutan. Oh shit! I wasn't even. So what the fuck? What's he doing? Oh shit! I mean, wasn't there. the only huh? reason I say just going for shit uh, turn is because you went for. Uh, Rekka and the punch follow up like three times. Well, but he wasn't he wasn't challenging. That's why I was like, you're kind of going crazy. Though I will say, when you just stood there a lot and just took things, yeah, you were definitely uh, you were definitely, definitely playing a little too clean. I got him. God, so plus. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Does Baff main the not now? Totally. As of right now. <laughs> Baff is a uh, number one Monopoly player in the world. Yeah. Little did you know. Well. Huh. Oh, people are not happy with your color choice, though. No live. <laughs> That's it. Can you destroy one hit of an EX fireball with orb, then reflect the one remaining hit? No. Shit, not. that crossed up. Um. If it's. Unless it's not EX. Okay. not can always reflect non-EX fireballs even if they're multi-hit. Um, however, oh, she if it's EX, her. she cannot, even if she gets rid of hits. So, gotta hold that, unfortunately. Final round. And unfortunately, she cannot uh, reverse or reflect certain feature moves. And she cannot re uh, reflect Birdie's uh, can. I've got a life lead. Just gotta sit on it. Yeah, just keep it. Oh fuck. Stand out has too good. I think I was minus there. Yeah, you were. He landed before you. Ugh. The sweep. That's his tech. That's the tech he found. Can't tell if that was friendly or passive aggressive as F. Oh. Who, me calling him the best Minot player in the world? <laughs> oh. Oh. Where's your crush fears? Any ears? Like, it's perfect for head stomp. Oh shit, I'm dead. Help! Just wake up super, do it. No. It will work! Maybe. <laughs> oh shit, you threw it back at me. Yeah, because it counts as a projectile. It sucks too. Well, that shit gets dissipated, it's done right away. Ah oh, shit. He's gonna cancel anyway. Yeah. I lost slowly anyway, that's something. I'm happy to lose slowly. The biggest thing is, I'd, I'd like to see you challenge uh, EX uh, double reverse more. All right, but crash fierce, crash fierce is a good button for it. That face when you went zero and two. Oh no, Neftin! Against Guile and a Cami. Guile should've been, I guess, not five five. Maybe it wasn't season one. I don't know. I remember Dominion and uh... who was it? I don't think it was Knuckle Do. I think it was Chris G. They had like a first to ten, and they were talking about how it's literally just a match of aggression or attrition rather. Learn how to top oh, fuck. Top him is clean. Now it probably is. Guile definitely but beats, uh, beats him now. Fong oh. is uh, unfortunately pretty shit right now. Me. 
Are you dead though? That's the question. Oh, uh, I thought I was gonna cross up, but Whoa! It the setups! Disco busting it out! Someone clip that! Someone clip that! We need a highlight reel for this man. Alright, I got the orb on him. Alright, all you have to do now is win. It's yeah. easy. I was gonna say, challenge them more with a... Yeah. Crush out, man. For the last any fangs with Guile at in Season 1. Oh. I don't know, I'm just... Literally my knowledge of Fang vs. Guile is that first attend with Chris G vs. Dominion. In which they talk about how it's even. Um, and it's more so about whoever has the mental fortitude. But that was like when Guile first came out. Alright. Meet him in there. Oh shit, my job. Shit. I knew that's plus. I just tried to contest it anyway. Mm. Sometimes you gotta. Again, I landed second. Yep. Yes, you did, my oh good my sir. Oh my god. Help. Oh my god. If I did jump my house, it might have won there. Yeah, but probably. I did jump fierce. But Bison out. has a mix up. It's like, why didn't Bath just block? Uh, that's a good question, Ominous. Because I take a shit ton of white damage. Bison not having mix ups was a meme. Yeah, that is a meme, unfortunately. I don't know. <laughs> My mindset against Bison, at least when I play defensively against him, is uh, down back until I say that he has meter, and then start looking for EX Devil. It's fine, I made it to top 8. <laughs> by losing once. By entering the tournament. By entering the tournament, yeah. What do you mean by their Zero Series? Yeah, feels bad. Oh, clock money. Like sales that. Whoo! I'm not gonna say that. Alright, I have to get eliminated from the tournament as fast as possible now. I'm on tilt. Just take a dive. I am. Clock money. Guile versus Manat. I feel like Manat could win this, honestly. I played it a lot. I thought that Manat, on paper, I looked at it and I was like, Manat probably cleans house. But when I actually played it, it's like, you know what, this is actually fair. I don't know if it's fair. Manat might still win. But Guile, Guile has a lot of tools I wouldn't really have thought about. I was going to say, Guile probably can play significantly less. Uh... Shit, what's the right word? Like. When you play this matchup, I feel like you have to play it one way as Minot. Guile doesn't have to play in one way. I feel like you can approach it a few ways. So butthole kick. Yeah. So I five IMM? Yeah, probably. That's kind of a good thing and a bad uh, thing about Street Fighter 5. Yo, the Sonic Boom! He says Sonic Boom. Yo, he's rocking that. I'm still the daddy scarf. Rocking it. Oh, like poison destroys Monot, at least right now. She can't really zone him. Has to be mid range, which is not really good for her either. Help. Oh, he's got the loops! Yep. Clock money! That was tight. Oh, okay. so godlike! Oh fuck. Right, oh fuck. I'm the, I'm the best Minot player on Earth. I've heard the light orbs oh, entirely on accident. Dude, I told you, you are the best Minot player ever. It's alright, clearly lacks experience in this matchup. I mean, character came out three weeks ago? Yeah. My combos are shit. Oh my god, I was I was caught off guard, so I did the wrong combo. I had a stammer house combo there. Yes, you did, and you had orb. Yeah. So it would have done a lot of damage. Yeah. What about that? 
I feel like this is definitely where Minot shines when she she's inside that awkward mid range against Guile. Yeah. Oh, he's got the dumb my head. Oh, help! Help! Back dash. Oh, off Let's do it. I got cornered. All right. Probably some kind of early review reverse to dodge most of that would have been alright. I guess wrong a lot. Mm. Damn. Didn't combo. Not the first zoning character in SF5. I mean, Dalsim, technically. Uh, you could argue Guile is as well, but that's that's purely for argument's sake. I didn't want to fire that. I'm giving up ground that I don't want to give up. Stop giving it up, though. It's not so simple. Yeah, it's just, just. Critical art right now. How to get out of the corner again? Oh, why? He's mine too. It's for critical art. Huh. You win. That's true. Oh, would have chipped him out. Yeah. And her critical art's a one frame start of. One frame. It's one frame, but it's dependent on where the orb is. That's so it's fun. like it's it starts in one, but the orb has to travel. Round but one. it still does chip. Yeah. I know you can't. And it catches. I know you can't jump out of it at close range. Yeah, it catches you. Hmm. Alright, I'll take this ground. I was gonna say, yeah, move in. Move in! Fuck. Fuck, 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 help. The dead. The third reset. I was gonna take the third. Send a donut, that's what I was saying, man. That chip. That's cheap. That's cheap. Fucking fireball. It's one frame before the flash and three until activation, says Disco Vigilante. That sounds like it makes sense. It's four frame point blank. Okay, and it catches jump back. Oh, oh you so much more damage there. Why'd you walk into a sonic boom? What happened? Beth, you were doing so well! I wasn't really. I mean, you landed a jump in combat, I was like, oh, he's got this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you know, wake up. The stand fierce. I think it's close enough. It wasn't close enough. Yeah. Uh, I could've died. That's straight for you? And jump fierce and it lights. You know it's serious. Nope. <laughs> oh, he took the scarf off. The three for you. Too good. Did you try to punish his V reversal? No. Uh, that's what it looked like because the orb went through him when he was resolving the V reversal. Yeah. Wake up, super. Just do it. No. Giving him that ground. Loki bad. Ah, that trade. Should have been looking for a reflect. Yeah. You lose. Poor Jesus, don't help. It's not like he listens to me anyway. Please, I already gassed up a uh, clock when he was doing boom loops. God, like. Clock money up in here. Oh. He doesn't know. He doesn't know Stan Pierce is the best button in the game. I don't blame him, though. 
It's also god awful at the same time. Yeah. It's very weak to jump. Mm. I'll take that trade. It's a good trade for me at this point. So I'm minus seven. testing that with my five frame button. The sweeps! The creeps! The bleeps! I thought there were bleeps. Oh, nice contest. The throws, too. I like the spot. I like the spot. That's a good spot. That's a good, that's spot. A, that's a good spot. Yo! He just came at you! Don't at me. I was in the corner, but my spot ready. was good. That was good. No, that was a really good placement. Good trade for me. Ah, oh, shit. It's real far away. Let's strong into boom or into reflect. Shit. Even my block. Yeah, what about that? The Damahe? It all adds up. Oh, here comes the money! Oh, the jumping oh, combo! <laughs> almost. Getting there. Oh, Baff. That was almost a highlight. Okay. Oh, Eat the jumping. I missed my V-Skill at the end. Baff. Taking the game over Eddie Boy God. It was V-Skill into Super. Yeah. Does uh, down V-Skill have more range? It's less, I think. But I went for Wide. an skill, and it was either one would have worked there. It didn't matter which uh, one I went for. Okay. Alright, now I'm feeling a little better. Time to do everyone else. Hey, there you go. Still got the sexy part of that combo? You damn right, you got the double... God, like... Double jumping combos are so cool looking. Yeah. It was one jump in, then one dash in. I did the yeah, yeah. slightly baby version, but the slightly baby version does almost as much damage. The truth of the matter is that what you do there almost doesn't matter. Like, the max damage, the combo I went for does, like, uh, less than 50 damage less than the, like, hyper-optimal Sokka bullshit. Gotcha. It's, like, less than 30 less. It's, like, not a significant decrease. The only things that matter in your Minot combos are your starters. Wait, after, like, who did Spobobin lose to? He hasn't, he hasn't lost yet. This is winners. What? This guy must die versus Spab. No, he had to, because you're in Oh, never mind. They're playing each other. I was like, Spavamba's the only one here. I didn't realize yeah. it was them playing. Yeah. <laughs> Standing V-Skill has more range, and... V-Skill has more range when she has the ball with her. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's noticeable, too. Her V-Skill is, like, dookie without orb. You can't do two lights into V-Skill. Yeah. Orb. Yeah. Like, any two lights. Kind of a mess. I like the fact that she can use stand like kick, stand like kick, V skill. Yeah. I feel like it's really good for her. Yeah, it's a three frame. Three frame cancelable. It's like a fair three frame. Because it's like. It's yeah. A, it's got about the smallest range that a normal can have in this game. Yeah. Seems like it. Alright. Cami versus uh, Bibson. I still have good incentive to use her other lights. Uh oh. I feel like we've talked about this match like a lot. Yeah, happens a lot. Um, this guy is unusually and... good at fighting um, Kami players. Or maybe just unusually like... good. I feel like that's also what we talked about a lot. It's been a while since I've seen Disco play though. It makes me really happy to see him play again. Wake up forward dash. Mm. I mean, hey, when you got the reads, you got the reads. Yo, that backdoor range too good. Hey, wait a second. This isn't retro. Yeah. Oh. Baff, he figured you out. You got a panda set of donut. Get him out of here. See, you can see Disco is really careful about when he can test dive kicks and when he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, a punch to be fair. Might work there. Bison's um, and your options are kind of shit. Yeah. In the spectrum of this game. Yeah. I mean, most of yours are shit in this game. It's not fun. Yeah. yeah. It's not fun, but. Well, yeah. it was guaranteed chip out at least. Yeah. Nice. I wonder if Bison could have done like forward dash, but like I know he couldn't have. No. I don't think he. Because he wouldn't have <laughs> so gotten that fast ass so. super. Yeah. Nice, that's max damage. I kind of like the scissor kick under there, even though it's not max, because it's got kind of a better OP. Yeah, and it pushes the corner more. You can do like a scissor kick there, I think. 
Yeah, I know it's a bit harder. Oh, I think it's easier. Or it's not. It's it's it? it's tighter to do, but Inferno has a chance of. Inferno has a strong tendency to go under the opponent, whereas uh, Scissor Kick like can either connect or just not be fast enough. There's no like doing Scissor Kick early or anything. There's no that can play to it. Ooh, the shim. Oh, he That's got it. the shimmy, but he wasn't ready. Shitty throw attack. Everything else is looking good, though. Yeah. Yeah. All he had to do was block and maybe throw out a stand short somewhere, and he was going to win. He had too much health. Yeah. Disco, turn that around. It's definitely looking uh, like a disco round. Yeah. Like a discoteca. Ugh. Whenever I see sweet views like that. I've been what, doing that a little bit as well. Just the, the so. He was so close. Alright. Forward no, dash. Is underrated footsies. Uh, I guess that was on, on safe. Bombs on heavy. Dots plus frames. You don't press no buttons here, Cammy. Let's go. Oh my god. Look at all that white damage. It's a lot of white. Yeah. He maybe could have picked up the DP there. I never see anyone pursue that. It's not worth it. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, the white didn't matter. She kept it. Yeah. Ooh, Cam nice. Oh, Cam! Nice. I was just about to say, Cam is in kill range, but there it is. Nice leap, done. Nice pick up by Spell Bobbin. Spiral Arrow into Super is basically never optimal. In al almost all the cases where you can do that, you can do DP into Super. Didn't matter there. But I just okay, wanted, yeah. I wanted to say right now that I've never ever seen a Kami player go for like, stand strong, stand fierce. Or maybe not that one. Like, low strong, low strong. DP Super mid screen. But I'm pretty sure that works. I would assume so. Always Spiral Arrow Super. Round one. Max range, well. stand strong, crash forward might not work. Yeah. Depending on the DP. I don't know. I'm not a Kami player. Don't don't ask me. The three! Yo, Kami's cheap. Never mind, she's got like. Yeah. That was probably just to escape the corner. Which it actually yeah. did, but maybe not the way he was intending to. Nah, definitely not. Whip them stand fierces. Whip them stand fierces, boy! I don't like jumping over it. It worked there. But that's more because Disco failed to approach properly after it, I feel. I'm actually surprised she crossed up. Uh, or dash under. I didn't think she, she had it. Backup has a severe lack of white power. What? It must be like some kind of Kami white joke. Uh, probably. Is that even a canon name? Is that canon? What's that from? Kami white? Yeah. Yeah, it's Kami white. Yeah. Uh, I they bother to give her a last name. Hold on. I've heard Ken has. Um, the reason Ken is Ken Masters is because they wanted to avoid, like, uh, confusion with like Barbie's can or something like that. There was like some there was some reason they had to give him a last name. Wow, really? Yeah. It's kind of funny. For like when they started doing like action figures or something like that. Um... I think he had EXDP there. It's worth going for. If it was in range anyway. Very very delayed crutch jab. Wake up was actually very solid. You know what my guess would be about Cammy's awareness? What? Because she didn't really start getting developed as a character until like Alpha 2 Gold and Alpha 3. Yeah. Um, she probably didn't get Cammy White until then. Yeah. That would be my guess. I'm gonna Vega poster defend the North for rolling up like Abigail. So the highlight of the year? Oh, yes. that's max damage. That was. I love that combo. I love combos that slam down. Yeah. It just looks so cool. There might have been a super or like something. A two bar combo that closed Maybe. it out. Generally, there is. Disco using them EX scissors like their EX tackles. I think he can do scissor kick, EX inferno, EX ball down towards fierce. I think that all works. That'd be cool. That's a lot of meter spent though. Yeah, but it was about to kill. Yeah. Bison's like the only character who gets good returns per bar. The trigger bison. Every Alpha, additional bar he spends years. like adds 70 damage. Fight. Alpha where they just threw everything at the wall. Yeah. <laughs> there were some things about Alpha that were really cool. Um, younger Sagat, really cool. 
Nash instead of um, Gal, really cool. Um, I like the dynamic relationship between uh, Adon and Sagat. Yeah. Especially because it went from like Alpha 2 to Alpha 3, and it was Adon looking up to Sagat and then saying, You're a wash up has been. Yeah. But none of that matters. Disco saying, Spamab in a wash up has been. Nope. Showing him how it's done. Ugh, can't find oh, this sweeps. normal. He That's actually loose. landed the V-Skill and then still used it for a throw reset. Was that punishable on hit? That was really high. Um, the, they never nerfed the... the oh, they never nerfed the, the, the dive kick. on it. They never nerfed the dive kicks from... Hooligan! That's yeah. right! That's right, that's right, that's right. Crush on the kick, crush medium kick, stand heavy bunch. So that's okay. It's the universal combo. Hold down back. From, uh... Any hooligan you see. Ugh. One thing that almost uh, almost wasn't in Street Fighter 4, that's in this game very prominently, is the ability to do a neutral jump cross up. Like if someone crosses under you. Right there, Kami could have come down with a jump light kick and hit by Oh, I see what you're saying. That yeah. was extremely rare in Street Fighter 4, but like almost everyone with a cross up can do it in this game. It's because they didn't change. There's no neutral jump normals in this game for the most part. There's only like two in the whole game. There's like um, Nash neutral jump roundhouse and like Kami neutral. I mean, only a neutral jump roundhouse. And that's like it. You mean things that hit on both sides? No, just that are like neutral jump normals at all. So like every oh, single oh, jump oh. is just the same normals as a neutral jump. I see what you mean. Yeah. Whereas like every single like if you look at the Shoto neutral jump medium kicks in Street Fighter 4, they'd be radically different normals than the four jump medium yep. kicks. As were their jump strongs. I mean, yeah. Ryu's was he sticks his arm out and then if he jumps forward. Yeah, it's the two hit. Oh. Yep. I am aware. Oh, he's still going for the any years. Stand like kick's a good button, but there's always the possibility you're gonna get that initial hit with the stand like kick, and then there's no combo option from it. Yep. It's like great on block, but on hit, it's like, oh, I could have done something way better. Yep. The crush counter, big damage! Yeah. Is he gonna go for it, setup? Yeah, oh, he did go for it, but the throw takes him! This is still either player's game. Kami's got yeah. V trigger. Oh, she's looking for it! Kami's she's looking, looking for it. Oh, that's it. No, it midair. Nope! Ooh, that jump back light kick. That was so smart too. Punish. Punish? Yeah. Wow. wow. That was really nice and played. Yeah. That was really good. Gal's so strong just in there. You have to do like um, sweep as Gal. I found that out recently. I like kept using low strong and kept whiffing and then I like watched mm. a better player play it and it was sweep and I was like, oh. Mm. You can probably use flash kick too. I would be so afraid to use flash kick against someone like Cammy. But like, nope. <laughs> Forget that. You just got away with it. Don't worry about it. Have this one on me. <laughs> we get shit to both players. Yeah, I love I love seeing matches like that because um, both of them are just great at the characters that they use. I guess Tikamura versus Ominous now, right? Yeah. Hey. And I fight the loser. Oh wait, no. Or we could do turntables and Dirty Llama. Oh, but yeah, that one's a little further back. Whatever. I've already invited the players, so. Hey. I fight the loser. Sorry, turn. Dude. Scary. Sorry. Sorry, turn. Who do you want to fight? I don't know. Is Ominous still playing uh, Kareen? I think so, yeah. I played Ominous in our set. Um, he's one of the only people I've played with my Minot, to be honest. Mm. And um, he solidly bopped me with most of his characters. So if I run into Ominous, I might actually go and play Yakuma. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'm no, I probably won't. I'll probably just be Japanese as hell. Where's Tikamara at? I just wasn't sure me, if... He said give me five minutes. So let's do ago. turntables and dirty llamas done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no turntables. I know he plays a lot of characters. Uh, it's just it's been a while since I've seen him play, and uh, I wasn't sure what the last character he was playing was. A true bison player. <laughs> what can forward dash isn't just a bison thing. Yes, yeah, I mean it's a real thing. Depends on what the opponent is. I think it's very much a three footer five thing, cause like. It also might just be a a you knowing your opponent thing, because Cleavy Soul and I have done that to each other a lot when we guess shimmy. So it's like your opponent is guessing that you throw tech and then boom you're in their face and you're frame trapping whatever button they tried to shimmy you with. It's hilarious. They're like, how did you know? Who the fuck is Dirty Llama? Right, there he's he a chem player. It's the only person I, know. I don't know. I think he's entered backups before. I'm pretty sure I've seen him around. I feel like I've seen him in the Discord too. 
I don't know. I'm not super active in the Discord anymore because I don't play Tekken. <laughs> I had to search Dirty Llama in the Discord, didn't find anyone. Damn! Guess I made shit up. I mean, he might be. He might have changed his name. Yeah, that's always a possibility. Look at me. Being terrible. <laughs> Disco only entered because of the low turnout. Hmm. Low turnouts could be fun though, because there's there's less stress because it's less people. Yeah. And uh, yeah. even if you lose, like in the middle of the tournament, it's less of a time waste. Yeah. Because like whichever player here loses, they're out, but it's only been an hour, so it's not like they lost that much time. Yeah. And there's so few people. I've already run into one of the two people who I was really actually afraid of. Hmm. Round one. I feel like I'm gonna either lose to him or the other one. Gotcha. Don't know yet though. Depends on my not. Ooh! Big jump in. Ugh. Misses the shoulder. Oh, he could have hit Sam Pierce there. Yes, he did. Not a punish, but still. Guess, guess I'm legs. A little awkward. Guess I'm legs. Oh. Meter build? Gone to the corner nah, immediately. Yeah. Didn't get out. Why Bruh. the reset? Turn, what are you doing? Yeah, no, he had any kind of kill. Yo, turn being so disrespectful right now. That was right a little now. bit of sandbagging. Yeah. He got more meter for it and he wasn't going to die. He also could have just done, you know... Yeah, another Jinko. Or Jinko whips. Jinko. Oh, the combos! All right. Oh, he had, a, he had a finisher there. All right. He did. Where's the enders, dude? You have hard DP there even if you have no meter. But he has all That's kinds nice. of meter. He could have supered on either of those. Oh, there it is. Cross under? Oh, turns the scrub. You can walk under Ken there. Uh oh, he's gonna kill here. This might, yeah, this might actually kill. What? Turn, what are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, turn. Turns, turn. There's, there's some sandbagging going on. That combo! I don't know. That I was did. the elbow. The counter hit. Counter that's hit that's elbow. interesting. <laughs> I didn't realize that worked. That's really funny. You'll never see that because it's very rare to get the first hit of the Rekka but not the second hit. Oh, wait, don't person. people. Don't people counter hit? Or counter hit setup with it? I don't see people like maybe. with the first parts of Rekka so the later part hits. That might be a thing. That's no, like it's a thing. That's more like I see Justin Wong do that. I don't really see, you know, Punk or uh what's his name? Fight. Holy shit. Uh Jeremy's God player. Mago. Yes, thank you. Holy god. Whew. I haven't seen Mago show up in a while. I don't think he's playing Kareen anymore, but I could be wrong. Oh. Oh, oh, help! It did it. I want to beat turn up for this fucking footage right here. <laughs> Alright, oh, oh that was a good beat trigger to activate combo. Yeah! Mago 2D God, you right, you right flop. The short block strings from the fireballs are real good activates for Ken. Yeah. I wish he'd stop doing stand jab and like, crash forward because it's not real. And crash forward into fireball is. Fish Kareen's got a three frame. Oh, yeah. That's so bad. That's one of my least favorite things about this game is that like no strings are real. Yeah. Oh god, the meme. Oh, oh no, llama, please, not like this. Turns just doing Kareen things. Yeah. That was a pun. You a punish there. I'm like freezing on my side. I'm still You're, like freezing on your side. 82 seconds. Oh, I do see it. Yeah, I'm like. Five six seconds ahead of you. All right, you got the kill. Right. He actually did combos. I guess I guess good stuff. That was okay. All right, turn versus Spab. I feel like Spab would generally win, but it's a toss up. This her Korean costume, hundred percent hearts. I feel like it's like sixty forty. Korean versus uh, Cami? No, just Spab versus Turn. Oh. The player matchup. The player matchup. Oh baby. It's go time. Oh, come back here. I'm so excited for the next frame. Feels good, man. <laughs> Yo, instead of donut calling out turn, saying you always put like an eight. Got him. I mean, that Get him been, out! That could have been cleaner, but it's not like it needed to be. Expose him! Put him on blast! Hi, cat. How are you? I need this. Thank you. 
Let's do this. Memphis? That's in Tennessee, right? That sounds right. God, I love this costume, dude. It looks good. Kareem's a good fit for it, too. Yeah. You can say all you want about Capcom and their business practices, but at least the costumes look nice. For the most part. There are still some characters that I'm like, why has this character not... Or why has this got character got in another costume? Yeah. Must be hell if you're like a Dawson main. It's like, when's my, yeah. when's my costume doing? Yeah, really. There's like no attempt to keep it consistent with all the characters like it was, uh... Four. Yeah. Where they were like, here's here's this pack yeah. where everybody gets a costume. Granted, it looks like they're only doing costumes when they have better ideas. So that's something. There were a lot of costumes that that's kind of existed only because it was time for a new costume. What a shitty punish! Alright. See, like, those are the parts where I'm just, I'm talking about where he just does things. Yeah. Like, he, he had no reason at all that he needed to do that. Because Spobobin's shown consistently that he's not pressing a button there. Yeah. From wall to hit, how fast is Cammy's critical art? Um, it's, it depends on your height, I think, in addition to how far you are away. Okay. I was like, it's about three it. frames if you're like up in her face, like if you're literally jumping at her. But well, I was thinking um, about it because it's more like Kareem, six if she's in front of you. If Kareem does back away, it can catch. Like, yeah, that's it's a mix-up. It's about. a mix-up. I've actually vibed this. If you do back the right. light super, it won't catch a yeah, fade away. Yeah, yeah. If you do a medium super, it will catch a fade away, but it won't catch down plus kick. Right gotcha. So Final she round. can actually dodge reversal Five. super with the right follow-up, but it's very gotcha. risky. Man, air is in this game. If it does a combo, it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Can't figure out vary between three and four frames. Yeah. Back when I got that data on lock. I just wasn't sure if, um, because of how she moves back, if it would catch her. But I guess it does depend on. Yeah, and if she does no follow up from the Rekka, it still catches Super Will Punish. Yep. So it's just all about the version you pick. I like that V reversal, that's good. Yeah. She says, unhand me. Why no super? That's a good question. Turn. Turn. Even if he was afraid to drop it, there's no risk there. Yeah, really. The, the shoulder whiffs and the super Woo! Come out. Talking about true risking things. That would have been a kill combo for Kami had yeah. she blocked that sweep. Oh god, turn, please. You're giving me Ajita. Turn plays like it's his last day of life. I guess, yeah. Round one. God of sweeps. Alright. I kind of miss SF4 sweeps, honestly. Yeah, I know what you as mean. Stu as stupid as that sounds, like... There's not enough, like, spacing emphasized kind of stuff in this game. Yeah. They made sweeps too unsafe to make sure that you punishes were too universal. You could have... Yeah. He could have thrown yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He might have been able to neutral jump it. Which would have been some crazy ass shit if it worked. Definitely could have thrown it. Ooh, the Domahi XP! Nice, clean. Oh, that's... There it is! Oh, okay. Still a kill. Back throw? Oh, back throw. Not even. Killed. It probably did about the same damage there. For the same meter build. Back throw is best because it's the highest damage in. or highest damage in. Highest, highest damage, uh, plus, uh, largest amount of meter build and lowest amount of meter gain for your opponent. Yeah. Alright. That's meta. Wow, the super fadeaway shimmy. Yeah, that went pretty far back. All right. Yeah. It says unhit. That was a good whiff on this. Or maybe a bad dive kick. That is one of the things that Kareem does well in this match. Is if Kami was a dive kick, you've got a pretty good uh, consistent punish. He got the overhead follow up and didn't get the combo. Yeah, he missed a uh, stand short. He crouch short instead. It might still work. I think Crush Short. Crush Short definitely cancels and I think it's 4 frames. She might only be I mean, plus 3. I think she's plus no, 4. No, she's, uh, she's plus 4. Yeah, so it probably still works. What the hell was yeah. that? No, it's chip out. Yep. Smart. He built up the white health. Yeah. 
just to be perfect and safe and Kirby. get it all crisp. Go! Oh, God, like. Yeah, errors in this game are really bad. I hundred percent agree. You were air <laughs> you were air errors in Street Fighter Four? I feel like um all I want is for air leave leave the characters for their part. I want people to get thrown the fuck back when they eat an air heavy. If there's an air air heavy in Street Fighter Three, the characters literally end up full screen. And I mean, I'm the worst person to talk to, but I guess uh DJ had good examples of what should have been in that game because his air buttons were really good. Yeah. So at like, at least he had a shit ton of variety. Oh, yeah. So like, you need a you know a fadeaway jump fears to air to air, and it would always be in DJ's favor. Yeah. I remember his buttons did high damage too. His jump roundhouse did like 130. He's like generously stronger than most air to right. Yeah, he had like really stupid high damage combos with stuff like that. Yeah. I thought are good in this game. They're not any worse. Who's though? It's, specifically. Like every air throw is good to be honest. Air throws operate by different rules. Why that Ender? Are you kidding me? Why didn't you just do punch? It was gonna combo. Round two. He did like the reset ender. Stupid. I don't think I don't think he realized. I think he had already committed to back shoulder. Because of the V trigger freeze. In that case he never should have done the cross up. Whatever, there was still a lot of shock value to it because of the Ooh! There's stun! Yeah, alright, turn looking really Peter. good. Oh no meter gain. Reset. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice, the nice dash. Cross up. I like that. That that's was good. a tricky motion to do right there. Oh, that's it. Got it. Turn. That was a. That was a lot better last round. Yeah. That last round was like the culmination I mean, of everything he's been working for. Cleaned it up a but little holy, bit. But holy, holy crap, Spab. Uh, I feel like Spab hit like a lag spike or something. Cause like, holy shit, he missed two back strongs in a row and it lost it for him. All right, Tikamura. The thing about air throws in this game is that most air buttons have like crazy startup that you don't really think about. So like mm -hmm. when two people hit buttons mid-air while, while running into each other, they mm -hmm. both hit like nine frame buttons and there's like this long period where neither of them don't actually hit each other, but you know, yeah. they it's still whoever hit the button first because they're both hitting long ass normals. But if you're yeah. that guy who actually does like jump jabs in those scenario, you're you're going to hit the opponent first. But the problem is if you get a jump jab like... You know, it's not even necessarily good for you to air, air to air the opponent with a jump jab because you're going to be landing right next to them and not necessarily plus frames. Yeah. Um, the only times I like those kind of things is like uh, when you're using it to get away or like you have a hard read on your opponent's jump action. Yeah. And then air throw is just, air throw has the same speed as jump lights and usually bigger range, but also a knockdown and higher damage. Yeah. So you're air, right. th and air throw ends up being real good. I feel like air throws are just as much of a guess though, because like they're they're not more committal, but like you know, a jump back light is so low commit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, super baffle offer this year. I haven't even thought about that. I've got the um, I could throw some money at that. I could see who the current like top eight in the BAF standings are. I, I was gonna say we're almost uh, we're almost at two years. God, for, for Street Fighter uh, 5. Actually, we just passed a year and a half. I'm crazy. <laughs> we're not almost at two years. We well, still have a couple more. Rounding. Yeah. We're officially at the point where rounding will take us to two years. Yeah, Four really. Years. Ominous with the black and red. It's a clean color. I love that color. I also love Tikamura's color. Ugh. What is this? Neutral? They're playing footsies? Not in my Street Fighter. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That conversion. Yeah, dashing. Dashing, there we go. Punishes, there we go. Ooh! Nice shot. That was nice. Jump back job, very good. Nice oh, awareness uh, by Tikamura to do the uh, or combo there. Oh my god. I wish Tikamura dropped combos against me. Oh, I missed the X Tenko! That sucks. Yeah. That would've been close to stun. Is that the second V-Trigger this round? Nasty. Uh, yes. To be fair, Tikamura has had that crap beat out of him. Oh, he might die from that. Close. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god. I wasn't even close. Oh, the back throw! He's a god! Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that.
I may have just late teched anyway, because that's all I do. <laughs> it would, you would have to be extremely brave to XDP there. Oh my gosh. Ominous. It's so obvious retrospectively. Okay. Ooh, the wake up Bhutan says unhand me, madame. Ooh, the whiff punish! Street Fighter 5, no whiff punishes. It's okay. It's okay. Fun fact, Hihar, yeah? He can only, you can only whiff punish if you're playing Korean. Oh, is that what it is? That's the rules of this game. Oh, oh I thought you could whiff punish with, uh, Urian. Just keep spamming, uh... Same piece? Yeah. That's fussies. You know, that's whiff punishing. I guess. <laughs> game is plus 44 after Super, holy shit. Holy fuck, it's laggy. Uh, Ominous had four bars in it. I feel like Team but... jumps in with the lag a lot. Must be a <laughs> laggy player. Footsies. I mean, they were playing footsies at the beginning. Yeah. There's, there were some air quotes footsies for basically yeah. the whole match, and maybe some legitimate yeah. footsies in the beginning. Right in the beginning. Not anymore, though. That'd have been a nice cancel. I love yeah. Ugh. Okay. Oh, no. It's not fair, dude. I fight T. Kimura and he never drops shit. It's, oh. it's gotta be the lag. I was getting those Irma mix ups too soon, man. Irma hasn't even hit yet. Sometimes I'm like California. I wish I lived in places where it rains and I remember. Earthquake. Yeah. If you want rain, go to Seattle. Yeah, Seattle's the winner. You get not too bad <laughs> earthquakes, you get no hurricanes, you get like no tornadoes. You get a lot of rain, you get a lot of great coffee shops. Yeah. Apparently there's a lot of homeless people there though. Whatever, I'll live. <laughs> I still live in Riverside, there are hella homeless people there. Oh my gosh, he walked back in for that stand strong Tikamura, please, match point. Round two. This looks hard. Tikamura's good. This does. Tikamura's on fire right now. The Domahe! Uh -oh. Sir! Please, I'm gonna need you to stop. Ooh. This is gonna be a hard round to win. Oh, oh now really hard. Gosh. Now the crouch block that. There it is. That's the correct response. Two jabs and uh, I think it would've been nice. Ugh. Ooh, missed the punish? Oh, okay. oh, missed the combo. I think that works, right? Two low strongs? You just normally don't do it. Alright. It works, it's just usually you get pushed out. Alright, I, I kind of like that meter spend. Ooh, oh! I don't think this can kill, but it's going to be kind of close. It might be able to kill. That was the wrong combo. Uh, yeah, it was way the wrong combo. He could have killed. He could have done, um, uh, Ick Shoulder. Yeah. Into, uh... Rekka into uh, yep. something. Yep. He had it. Whew. t Alright, super good pickup. I thought he was done, dude. He, he lost a ton of health. Yeah, you really did. I don't know if that was an intentional draw, or... Alright, we're gonna see resisted. a two-bar combo. Crouch Fury CX. Wow. <laughs> the unintentional baits because okay. of drops! Ominous, take it, please. Just take it. Cutting wins. <laughs> Must be nice. Do the do the wolf prone just wipe that match away. Wash your hands of that match. Yeah, I think that was I mean no no offense to Ominous, but I think that was kind of a fluke on T Kamara's part, and if T Kamara just wises up, I don't think that's gonna happen again. Yeah. <laughs> oh the, the psychic he didn't even guess that. He still tried to do his combo with the XTP man. <laughs> Alright, good spacing. I hate when Kami's used Stamina at all, to be honest. I feel like it's 100%. Like, it's like, oh, well, I'm, I've am i already mastered everything else about Kami, so I'll just try and master the last remaining piece. Stamina yeah, I, think we, I literally think you mentioned that the last time <laughs> I was commentating. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> yeah. The chances we were of talking about how it's awful versus the chances of it helping you. Yeah, we were talking about how it can sometimes be used as an anti-air, and then I think it's good one of the Kami players used it's just it. It's horrible yeah. on the ground. It's not even good as an A-tier, it's just like, it works as an A-tier. Other characters would like it, but Kami doesn't need it. I think pretty recently I was fighting a Kami player who hit me with A-tier, Starman House, got the crush counter and the juggle to DP, and I was like, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. It's a great AA. Yeah, it is. Less risky. It's. I think it's less risky. It might, it's probably not even less risky. It's slower. Oh. Uh, Dead. But it's not out yet. I'm gonna go into this next round with full yeah. soup. It's basically a res less risky version of Ibuki Stand Heavy Kick, and I love Ibuki Stand Heavy Kick. Love that button. It's okay. 
I like it versus Geef. That was my like go to in here when I played her, but I only played her at like launch. Oh, oh the no punish punish. Oh my god, they're threading the needle. Trying to approach in the mess of Kami's normal space. Yeah. Oh. Too high, maybe? That looked like it still would have comboed. Ah. Probably an instant dive kick the fuck up. When Kami's get instant air jump around house. There it is. Yeah. I like the jump back strong, there. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no! No, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. See? Got the wake buttons. up. Got the wake up. Alright. Alright. Okay. Tricky. There you go. Very tricky. It's a very scary situation because crutch medium kick will equally fuck your ass. Um. I haven't tried it in a while, but can you cancel Tanko to get the pickup? Can you trigger cancel Tanko? No, cancel it. Uh, activate after you do Tanko. Oh, I don't think so. I think you got no, it. No, it doesn't work out. In your normal. Uh, yeah, it's too. I think it takes too long. Oh, pickups. Ooh, oh, nice. he's going for it early. That's important. Get that big damage early in such a modern game. Yeah, but now here's <laughs> Ominous with the V trigger and the super. Oh, yeah. that's that's. Ooh. Oh, you can react, dog. I wish I wish Korean players are more uh, active about that. They already when they do their reckas, they already know what they're gonna end with. Back there, she gets nothing. Time to run away. Just down back for a little bit. He can't build V meter while he's got that V trigger on. If I were ominous and I land a hit, never mind. Guess I land that full super. Ah, oh, crutch me, you can't go grab. This is winnable, but it's hard. Uh, okay. Let's try it. Oh, there's the second V trigger. Oh, that was a punish. Yep. Oh, I think he was. How fast is the spiral arrow? The spiral arrow doesn't punish. Step away, does it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. It might. Because I saw that he just didn't do anything, and I was like, why not step away? If, uh, Tikamura, if, if Ominous did, uh, punch follow-up into Super there, it might have actually killed, or it would have been kind of close. EX but Spiral Arrow is exactly a punish. It's a hard read. Leave not meant reversal. Look up the frame data. It might need yeah, to it on its first frame, though. Alright, me versus Om. Maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe. Go that's a oh, great match, though. Fucking left. Of course you did. Yeah, I'll play you. No. <laughs> I'll yet. even play Korean. Not yet. Yeah, wait. Yep. It's not time for the after bath. Nominus was actually next up. Yes, he was. It depends on which character he goes. To be honest, I'm crossing my fingers that he doesn't go. Bison, because Bison is my shittiest matchup. I am better than I was when I first fought him with Minot, but whether that betterness is enough to overcome an entirely different Bison. Bison plays Bison, I thought. And he plays, he plays Bison, and he plays Ivy. What the hell? Screen. He like, I asked him earlier, he said no. He was lying. He's such a liar! He's sandbag. He's got, aww, motherfucker. Go Bison. Alright. I can do this. Yeah. Damn, dude. I'm such a noob against this character. Yeah. I need to actually just sit down and play a bison a lot. Which I'm is with that with Dalsum. Literally every time I play Dalsum, it's like the. F it's like the what? It's like the first time I'm playing Dalsum yeah. all over again every time I play him. I feel like I only lose to Dalsum when I choke. Help. Match isn't starting. There we go. Round one. Fight. Oh, it's slightly jittery. It's very jittery. That punish. Oh my god, I tried to crush Fierce and I got Stan Fierce. What's with this lag? It's funny because I can see it on your stream, but on my game I don't see it at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm like the character who's the shittiest in lag. Yeah, because a lot of your stuff is reactions and footsies. Oh my god, help. Yo, Irma coming in with the jam session. Oh my god! This is actually unplayable. Uh-oh. 
Yo, I'm just gonna keep jumping. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. God, this is like, this is like unwinnable. I tried to crush first, but I was smashing button. Alright, yeah. I need to go back to the menu. I need to reset. It like took a long time to connect, and then it was like horrible. I feel you. Um, obviously, not that it would have mattered much in this match, and nobody has done anything about it yet. But why do you do uh stand strong crouch or stand uh jab crouch strong? What about it? It's like, not a. It's not real. It's real on Bison. No, he's a three frame. He has a three frame that's not gonna hit me at most ranges. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I was just asking you. It's a, it's a combo and counter hit, and it can cancel. Whereas stand strong can't cancel. Uh, and also stand strong see, is like minus eight. That's why I ask. That is why I ask. Otherwise, her block strings are just like light into light. There's like not much Yee. else to do there. E. Two jabs is fine. She's got a lot of plus frames on her stand jab, but everything she can go into is slow. Yeah. She only has frame traps when she has no orb, and the fact that you have frame traps basically doesn't matter when you have no orb. I love the fact that Crouch Medium Kick is plus on block. Alright, I'm crossing my fingers that now he's first. <laughs> See how it goes. I certainly hope that it's a uh, is good. Go no ahead. fun allowed, Fighter Five. I like played him recently, and it was like not laggy at all. Yeah. Bad luck. Because you're streaming. <laughs> no, I, was, I like played him streaming last time. Yeah. Uh, this is better, but still not good. The question is, can you play in it? Uh. Oh my God. Look at all these plus frames. Look at all these plus frames! I'm gonna hit a button. Oh my God! I saw a stand short, and then I was getting grabbed. He didn't even walk in. I didn't see any walk in. Still like a couple frames of like walk in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that shit. looked like crap on your stream, but it looked oh. buttery smooth on uh. Oh my mine. god. I'm so helpless here. Yeah. It's a little poop, unfortunately. I mean, do it. Uh, oh, never mind. I didn't see the jump. Oh fuck. The it was I did low strong yeah, was, and it was in block sun. Well that yo, was shitty. That's that sucks because watching in game it literally looked perfectly fine and I turned slightly to the left and I look at the stream and it's holy crap, they're like two completely different games. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It's an unfortunate way for me to go out. Most definitely. I'm not even mad. I don't feel like I got outplayed. I feel like I got lagged. You, you got bisoned. Oh, my Bibson. Alright, well, uh, turn Drosominus. Nothing would have been any better if I picked Takuma. No. It was all, it was all, uh, it's all lag. Psycho power once again prevails over soul power. Get out of here. Get out of the Street Fighter story. I don't understand it's how just... soul power can be taught. Like, isn't soul, soul power is just psycho power, but Bison calls it a different, or Rose calls it a different name because she wants to distance it from psycho power. No, uh, they have the same master that taught them soul power. Same master. Bison Rose is Bison. There's no same master. What are you talking about? Rose is Bison. Rose is the good half of Bison. Don't you know All your right. lore? Later, that happened when they did the. Uh, I thought that happened stealing... when Rose was fucking born. No, at least not that I know of. I thought it was they had the same master power. Bison corrupted it into psycho power. I don't know. And then if, Rose. I don't know if Bison saw... ever had a master. 
I thought that's what it was. Let me look that up real quick to make sure I'm not crazy. I know that Bison Psycho Power theoretically originally comes from Ingrid, but that's some borderline non canon shit. Hold on. Rose Street Fighter. Let's see. Actually, it'd probably be better to look up Bison. If you can just teach Psycho Power, if you can just teach Soul Power, can you teach Psycho Power? I guess, like. No, Psycho Power, from what I remember, Psycho like, you don't, you can't teach it. It was something that he. That's why, like, he had to make clones. Like, people that could inherit Psycho Power. It wasn't something that he could just have his army learning. That's why he had to have them, like, hooked up with machines and shit like that, too. Um, and there we go, Ed. We got. I feel like it's three Psycho Power guys. Two He's a powers. young. He was a young martial artist, like any other, but with overwhelming ambitions. Uh, murdered his own master before giving into complete chaos, and Bison's master was said to be the only known person in the world who could manipulate the evil power known as Psycho Power. Oh, ah, well. How about that? Where the fuck did I hear the Rose thing, though? How old is Bison, dude? He's got the white hair. Uh... Rose is like in her 30s. Or maybe her 40s. I think Bison's. I think Bison's in his late 50s. Round one. What kind of man do you have to be to get your good half right. removed? Okay. Oh, now it looks great. Always. It's always when you're not playing. Alright. Jump jab. See, he baited that, actually. That would be my go-to response. Yeah, definitely. But it didn't even work. And even if it did work, I think Bison was going to land first. It's better for Kareen to do jump strong there, I think. Because the speed doesn't matter that much in that context, but jump strong has a juggle state. Alright, I like this. This won't kill, though. This is risky boots. Oh, I killed! Oh my god! This is a short combo. I'm always so wrong with that. <laughs> it's so bad. As a simple reminder, <laughs> Kami Super always does less than you think, and um, yeah. Super always does more than you think. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's it's easy to think that all Supers in this game do really similar damage, and they're like close, but the way that the characters combo into them, the scaling. Big fight. Hmm. Oh. God, make it stop. Bison didn't even. Thomas didn't even do the Inferno, which would have dizzied. I must have been driving that a lot, though. Oh my god, I think he wanted an earlier forward dash and missed it, and then wasn't really sure what to do. Yeah. The late forward dash was really bad. I think he could have killed the Lichy Bar. Alright, that was like three Weaverses in three seconds. Ooh! Jeez, dude. And none of them did anything. Cutting wins. Uh, apparently in Street Fighter canon, Rose and Akuma. Rose and Akuma what? You got cut off. Fought. Oh. But Rose barely survived and escaped. Reminder that Rose saw the one man who will eventually beat Bison to be Guy from Final Fight. <laughs> That's like yeah. so strange to me. The borderline cameo character. It's like, you're the one who will beat the ancient evil of this universe. It's like, fuck off. Alright. No Inferno again. Hard Inferno with the blast works there. It's like way better. Alright, got the read. That dropped! Sam Fierce is pretty slow. Should yes, go. it is. A baby combo. Let's yes, it Inferno. is. I wish there were more buttons like Vice and Sam Fierce. It breaks the rules of the game. It goes further than cancelable normals are supposed to go, but it's justified by how ridic ridiculously slow it is. Yeah. So it's like okay to have double overhead. Oh my god! Turns the one man! I like used to talk about that. I was like, someday. Someday someone will do the re the overhead reset and then do an EX Resenha. But I was like, no one will ever do that. And then Turn is now the man who's done it. Yep. Yeah. Turn is the one guy in the whole world who would do the overhead reset on the Rekkas and then EX Resenha yeah. block. Ooh. Oh, the crush counter! He knows! Is 
Sometimes you just gotta put buttons on turn. Yeah. Like real talk. Just constantly. Alright. Ah, not a good punish though. A lot of sloppiness from Ominous. He hasn't played Bison in a while. I don't think so. Weird. Why is he playing? Yeah, why, why did he dodge the mirror? It's a fine mirror. It's one of the only mirrors that's not garbage. Uh, maybe he doesn't feel like he does it on the mirror. I don't know. Well, you're not him. Well, Bison's not bad here. Turnt definitely does that shit. It makes me scared to challenge sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That started off kind of bad, then it got shitty. Shit, man. Uh -oh. Sucks. Fight. I can't see anything. You don't. You don't see anything. Wrong with uh, either, do you? Looks good. But <laughs> it can be one sided rollback. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the tank of punish. <laughs> okay. Anytime people stand up for that, I'm like, why didn't you just cr Crouch, yeah. jab? All right. Look, like that. Yeah, he cut. He had a punish there. Bison doesn't even have to worry about charge because he can just do inferno always. So good for him, honestly. Yeah, having a single motion move is, I feel like, something every charge character should have. I say that, but like, Urian has like fireball. It's like that doesn't do anything for him. Well, it does, but like, it doesn't do anything in terms of like scenarios like that. No, but all his links he can yeah, build and charge charge naturally. Yeah. Remember DJ getting inherent charge off of three lights? Yeah. And like that was like his only inherent charge combos. Like you couldn't do stand forward less strong and like. I mean, may maybe if you, with perfect charging you could do stand forward less strong and get like uh, scissor kick. You could. You could do um, also great fucking damage and yeah. round there from all of this. Holy shit! Just made all the right guesses. Um, DJ could do like crouch strong, stand strong, strong, but it was a one frame. I don't even remember he had that. I forgot about that. They buffed stand strong to be cancelable. Yep. I hate that. They were like, oh, we're removing all the one frame links from Ultra. And then it's oh. like, here's DJ stand strong, a, a normal that's only in one frame links. And it was shitty too. <laughs> oh, like, God. all the things you could do, like, I mean, it was occasionally the right it's button because cool. I think it went a little further than less strong, right? But, yeah. um, it, uh, it like didn't combo from stuff. Alright, it's winner's finals. Like, you could do, or it, it did combo from stuff. It didn't combo into stuff. It was very picky about yeah. comboing into stuff. Like, you could do low strong into fireball, and that would combo. And then at the same range, um, uh, staying strong into fireball wouldn't combo. The fireball would just be blocked. Disco. He just didn't, he just didn't have good combo potential. Yeah. That's bad. What is this clip that people clipped with me? Hold on. No, just you probably saying something was going to kill when I didn't. Judging by the fact that it's called Roy Chen. DJ's stand hard punch. It gets a hard rap. It hits some crouchers. Roy, um, unready. Oh, sorry. It just didn't <laughs> hit all crouchers. Up. It hit, like, less than half of crouchers. DJ didn't care about, like, forcing anyone to stand, so it didn't matter. It was just funny. Yeah, but stand forward stood, didn't it? Did what? Did stand forward? Four stand? Clo I'm sorry, close stand forward. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't. I don't he didn't care, but like, I don't. I think it was only close fierce, but like, it didn't matter. There was no, he no didn't. For DJ to yeah, he didn't stand. really have anything. Literally, none of his special moves whiffed on crouch. Stand roundhouse. I think the second hit sometimes whiffed crouchers, but stand roundhouse the only thing that you could do from a super, which is part of his max damage, which yeah. is great. His damage was like weirdly high in general, if you actually got the right connects. Like if you just did like jump roundhouse, crouch fierce, EX uppercut, had... like dash ultra 2, that was already like 550 or something. It was like quite yeah. high for one he had He had very high damage output. Alright, but uh, this is winter finals. Did you yeah. change the... Uh... I did. Okay, cool. I meant to say that earlier. I don't get why that's Roy Chen. That wasn't me saying something that was gonna kill. <laughs> that was me reacting to the sweep that turntable did. And I was like, oh, he could've died for that if he blocked it. That's probably it. He's probably saying he couldn't have died. Maybe the most hyper optimal. Can you punish? I don't know if he died. Didn't watch it. Bruh, I don't. I don't even know. People just like to make fun of me. I'm easy bait. You put yourself out there. Oh, I always do. Uh, and then uh, people say things. That's how it is yeah. in this world. The internet. Yup. Oh, the nice V trigger confirm. 
crispy from Tikamora. Oh, it didn't look like she had 700 health left and I thought you had V trigger. Alright. That would be it. EX to uh, do as much damage as possible, but it's not quite enough. Good lord. It looked like Tikamura was jumping trying to bait that. The thing about sliding to V trigger, although it's like, you know, it gives you a bunch of plus frames and whatnot, is um, if it, the slide whips. Oh, this will kill. Oh, wow! Got him with the bison. The slide whiffs, it's very, very, very Round punishable. I just didn't think to make the game make sense, which is why I suck at Bison. Yeah, uh... Don't play Bison. Are you talking about Street Fighter makes sense, or are you talking about Street Fighter 5? Ooh, Backdash in the corner. Didn't work though. No. I respect. You have to make a hard read. Sometimes. That was the time. Kimmy's back bow was just extremely good there. That's the sweep! We've lost the sweeps! Final round. Fight. Don't wow. mind this stat heavy. Had 13 recovery frames. Wow. A lot. Dude, he knew! Ah, it was safe. That was a reversal three frames dead. Might not have been reversal. It looked like it. I think you can space by some sweet game. Yeah, it's possible, but it's it's like the first time I've seen it in ages. Yeah. It's, I know it's you very can't, hard. You can't with Vegas. It's impossible, unfortunately. God, it's so stupid. I hate yeah, it. I, I know, dude. Go play Alpha Vega and like you it's like hard to make a sweep on save. Yeah. Nice punish. Ooh! Very yeah. nice punish. Depending Ooh. on the timing of that V-Skill, I think they can cross up or not. Yeah, it's I think so. It, it's reactable, but it's, it's a stressor that you don't want to deal with. Say, Ungo Bungo Bingo Bungo. Probably a punish right there. Yeah, it looks like it. V-Trigger activates usually have a good amount of uh, startup. Yeah. Sweep, uh, Dictator Sweep minus two at best. Oh, there you go. Good lord. So it must have been the last active frame. Okay. Oh, he had super. <laughs> Everyone's saying he should just super. Nah, Disco would do super. might have worked there. And Tier Super with uh, Dictator is underrated. How fast is the super? It's, but it was like. Uh, I mean, it's fast years. enough to end here. Yeah, I guess. Early stun, though, jeez, let's I, go. I think call is a pretty slow super in the grand scheme of supers. But the hitbox is pretty good. Yeah. Alright. That ain't been punish. Ooh, oh, the low check. Alright, a little bit. This is perfect for him. Ooh. I mean, just as said that. Yeah, it definitely was. A to the face. Ooh! If that was back there, I would have dizzied! Ah, that might have been a punish too. If he empty uh, jumped, that might not have been. Yep, he that's what I was gonna say. In time. Yep, the empty jump button. <laughs> Should have air supered. Yeah, just tied your knee it. It's okay. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if his air super did more damage. Or if there's like some reason to do it. I didn't know about that until like the game had already been out for like four months. They could do it in the air? Yeah. I think it's so you can do stuff like... Stomp into Super? Yeah. It's like the only context I can think of. That you wouldn't be able to just do something else. Yeah. You can actually do OTG Stomp into Super. Which looks can hilarious, really? but there's no there's no context to do that. Oh, uh, okay. And there's no way to force an OTG anyway. Like, even if you Crush Counter Sweep into Free Trigger, you still can't get an OTG Stomp in time. Gotcha. The Disco looking uh, a lot more clean in this match. Getting them call outs. Stopping the dives. Yeah. Good trades. He can trade really favorably now. Yeah. Which should Cammy's second D skill be? Uh, Let me think about that. Some kind of command grab, but a very shitty one. <laughs> a command grab with the range of she literally has to be pushing you. That would actually be extremely terrifying. Kimmy's second V-Skill is Laura's V-Skill. Just the dash? Unsafe over uh. there. Yeah, without the dash. 
I like it being an overhead. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. That would be something you could mess around with. You've either yeah. got a plus on block non-overhead V-Skill, or a punishable overhead V-Skill. The back throw! This could be good for Disco! Oh, he... Yes, oh. EX... A deep heat! Yeah, hold these plus frames. Plus frames! Oh, Ooh, he does it anyway! Oh my oh. god, is that it? Almost. No, it's not! There's oh no kill combo there, I think. Oh, ho, ho. Take over, please. Kami wins. I have no comment on Akuma's second V skill and V trigger. They're already like fine. I don't even know what they would have to do to him. The like shades of Shinakuma on the V trigger is like the perfect V trigger for him. Uh. And then the V skill is so versatile that I wouldn't want to replace it. Round one. Fight. Just like... make V trigger a demon. <laughs> Just make it not as good as Super Demon. It's not like how, okay. how it was in uh, Street Fighter 4. How like Super Demon was uh, slightly worse than Ultra Demon. If his second V-Trigger wasn't an activate, he would lose Super Demon entirely. Oh, you're right. It would have to be Demon. Their Demon would be okay. Shades of Oni. Cat, we have a Shades of Shinokuma, let's have a Shades of Oni. Yeah, I like that. He gets like air dashes. That'd be kinda cool. I like air mobility. I think air mobility is a really cool thing. That's why I like I really want the twins. Yeah. Even though nobody fucking wants them. Or people want Yun, but they don't want both of them, and I want both. They need to buff the fuck out of anti-airs, then they need to add twins. That's yeah. the order of things they need to do. Oh, this is gonna kill. Yes, it is. Disco. Spending that chatter. Round two. Fight. Make Akuma's B skill a demon. No. Hell. It better be a five damage demon. Really? Alright. Disco showing the optimal combos. Oh, he had less run there. I think he was worried about the range. The backdash. That was a weird backdash. Yeah. Karina's new feature is her kill set. What? The Kanzuki family kill set. What? Dive kick demon. <laughs> Dude, I like that. Air to ground demons. Imagine if one of the demon follow ups. Like, imagine if one of the demon flip follow ups was a deep raising view. Alright, nice. Max damage. For one bar. Oh, I got it. Uh, make his uh, second V trigger uh, the explosion super from uh, Third Strike. No. Oh. <laughs> right. If they make him just... like Shades of Oni and then give him that as like the full bar plus already in V trigger, that would be really tough. Yeah. Just give him like an Oni activate. Like, yeah. literally. Yeah. Change his fireballs to electric. Give him air mobility instead of air fireballs. Oh my god, I actually want this all of a sudden. Second beat triggers would be really cool. I was talking about doing like a like a wish list for a season three with second V triggers, uh, V skills and critical arts, but people usually don't care about those. <laughs> They're like, oh, my one of my most viewed videos is me my like character request list for Street Fighter Five. Really? Yeah. Uh, I must not it's, have seen it's it. very, it's very clickbait. That kind uh, of writing, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like mine was very clickbait, but it's impossible to make something like that and not have it not be clickbait. Yeah. It's 100% opinion piece. You and I should work together on something. I tend to not like opinion pieces. I'm not, not <laughs> like that, but like I tend to not like opinion pieces. I tend to just try my best to just provide facts, and that's all. Zero opinions. I mean, you could you could skew it a lot to make it like uh, this character does really well at this but struggles with this. So let's change their archetype to either work like that or change their playstyle slightly around this new mechanic. Uh oh, oh, he dropped, he dropped it. it. No. Oh, okay. Oh, but he dropped it too. That walk in. He didn't even react to the dash. He was just like, "There's gonna be a dash through here." He knew. Yo, he grabbed Stan Roundhouse. 
grabbed Stan Roundhouse and said, Sir, give me this knee. The sweeps. The creeps. Oh, that kind of hurt. That was good. But he wasn't ready. Nah. I've got a good idea for a V-Skill for Ken. It's something that's yeah. exactly the same in every way, except that pick is minus two instead of minus like seven. That literally it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can just delete his his existing V-Skill. Damn. Ear bite command grab. <laughs> on a bison? For Bar. Not for Bar. Yeah. Very funny. That would be, yeah. I like that. This is an uphill battle for Tikamaru right now, though. Has to use the meter to get in. I'm guessing a sweep. I'm guessing it. Oh, didn't need oh, okay. it. Never mind. And Bison wins. How actually sick would it be if Bison's V-Trigger was to, like, call Peter in? <laughs> like, like... He like stoops over and he puts his hand to his ear, and then like Peter like falls in from the sky with a gun drawn. Shoots <laughs> the opponent a bunch of times. This isn't Skullgirls. You can't be Parasol and gives the thumbs up to M Bison. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sad that Skullgirls didn't get big. Isn't Fuck there like a uh, Skullgirls, a new port coming out pretty soon on like Vita or something? Yeah, but I mean it's the same game. Yeah, I know. I'm saying a uh, Skullgirls two would be cool. It's the but... biggest. Um, the biggest anything like that has ever done. I feel like it did pretty well. The thing is, even if Skullgirls isn't like super super popular, it was like a slow burn. It like got it kind of crept into popularity, and um, from what I can tell, the public perception of Skullgirls is that it's extremely good, even though most people don't play it. So it's like if there was a Skullgirls team, I think a lot of people would try to get on it day one just to see if like they could try again this time around. Not be like yeah. the party. Most people are fond of it, but it's it's ever since uh, the fundraising thing for Evo 2012 or 2013, one of the two, um, that melee was picked instead of it. Yeah. That people fell off of it, and it fell out of the main limelight, which makes me really sad. Because can you imagine how different the FGC would be right now if Skullgirls was the big game and melee did not explode? Because that's 100% why Smash Bros. Melee came back. Was when it got focused main stage for Evo. Mm -hmm. Very far away on that EX blast. Probably no other. Pretty sure everyone in the labs here would rather die swallowing dicks made out of soap than do another fighting game, to be honest. Damn! To be fair, they went through a lot of crap during the development of that game. Barlow for Oki? Yeah. Oh, that was not a lot that of crap. Looked... No, that definitely looks punishable. Has to cancel the target combo to keep it nice and safe. We got jabs, we got those. Remember when that TC was, um... Remember when it was plus three? What, her... No, Bison's TC. I think it was for either never in any playable build, or um, no. I think it, I think it never was. I think it was just discussion that it was in like a link or um, a leak. I mean, or uh, like beta footage or something. I mean, it was like a season two change, wasn't it? I don't remember honestly. I don't remember when he got that TC. Yo, we got super did it. Disco proved me wrong. Or was that always there? Maybe that TC was always there. I remember there was talk of making it plus three. Or maybe it was plus three in season one, but then he got a three from normal and they made it unsafe or something like that. No, it always existed, but it didn't combo. That's it. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, we're going to make it combo, and then it's plus three, so you can combo it through a stand short, and then it's like, no, we didn't do that. <laughs> the side change view reversal for him looks so silly. Yeah. If my view reversal hit on both sides, that was cool. That was probably worth it. There's a big hill to climb, though. Yeah. It's got super though. Oh wow, the blast. Blast is a really it's... good anti-air, but the startup is hard to resolve. It's so active. He hard red dive kick. Had to have. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, 
for now. That's like two bad drops. That's like Take a rest on this. Yep. Going to lose the finals now. Tikamar and Ominous. Is Ominous going to stick with Bison or is he going to go back to Kurt? It's go time. Damn, doesn't that new, um, that new, uh, that new NBC comes out in like two weeks? I think it's like a week and a half now. That's a little crazy. I feel like yeah. that's one of those games where I, I haven't been tracking the progress at all. So like, it kind of abruptly went from like someday in two years to to, to yeah. like next. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's not this week, but next week. But it's since we're on Thursday, it's less than two weeks. I guess I'll get it. I guess I'll I like think, do some videos with combos and stuff. Do some I think it's the nineteenth. Get some clicks. It does look kind of fun, to be honest. Like, everyone was bitching a lot, and I was bitching alongside everyone. But now the latest gameplay footage, it's like, you know, this looks like a this looks like a more fair MVC3. Yeah. It's maybe not necessarily what you should do with MVC, but also not bad. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they missed a big part of their demographic. Like, them, that's, that's the biggest mess up for me. Yeah. Because they alienated a lot of fans, and... The roster that they presented is probably not going to bring in new players. Yeah, it's just they—they they were they were. I don't know who they needed, but they needed not who they got. They did not yeah. recycling. Yeah, nice combo. Ooh, watch your legs, Tikamura. Yeah, we still got RE5, Chris. I'm so mad about that. I can't even get to express because it means the Boulder meme isn't going to die. Yo, RE5 is... I think it's 8 years old. Uh, I didn't need that. <laughs> I need to confirm that. I think it came out in 2009. That's, that's, that's nasty. Yeah, March 5th, 2009. I just so. replayed Galaxy, right? And like, people were saying, oh, you're replaying Galaxy for the 10th anniversary. I was like, ugh. Ooh. Yeah, dude. That makes me feel old. Dude, I love Resident Evil. I just got into speedrunning Resident Evil 2. I beat my speed record or my speed run last night. I was really fucking hyped. I like the idea of speed running, and I like the idea of Resident Evil. But speed running Resident Evil, from what I've seen, is run past enemies of the game. Yeah, it's that in item management and good uh, movement in the earlier games. Yeah, the movement's pretty precise, I bet. Yes, movement can either cost you ridiculous amounts of time, yeah, or you're, you're save like you. Running ridiculous. past a zombie in a hallway, and it's like this could be thirty seconds, or it can be two. Yeah. Depending on whether I, whatever fucking approach the zombie, pull the zombie back, run past the zombie, whatever fucking yeah. movement strat. Yeah, there's a lot of things like that. Inventorying can save you a lot of time too. Oh, there it is. Siren House. Menuing a strong skill for RE runs too. Yep. Hundred percent. Oh wow, he just didn't even hit a button. Did he know that uh, Tim Forward would have missed? Mm. You play the Revelations games? I did. Oh, I played the first one. I didn't play the second one yet, but I love them. They're, um, they're a bit of a return. It's like the more classic style of Resident Evil. They're like a nice I balance. Resident... I love 7. 7 was amazing. I haven't even touched 7 yet. Oh god, so good. I like classic Resident Evil, like... You know, remake and two and three and yeah. uh, Code Veronica. Uh, Dude, Code Veronica is like the best Resident Evil game, Loki. It just had had the best of what that game was supposed to be, yeah. but speedrunners hate it. <laughs> wow, he didn't confirm that for shit. No, he just went for it. It's a slug fuzz out here. I don't think any oh. single hit confirm low forward, can she? Kbrad swears that you can, but. It's K bread. It's not a. It's you've got a late cancel window. I know that, but it's not late enough. I feel. It's not late like Chun. Yeah. Ooh, the Damahe. Oh, he did crush strong, crush strong. Maybe you have to do that. I guess DP doesn't work there. Ah. Whoa. That can have been what he wanted. Oh, he got the full ender. That's hard to juggle. Woo! Big follow up. Scary. Almost at a chip. Dash up, crash, medium kick, wreck a super. Yeah, that's, Do it. that's actually the play. Should have done it. 
Oh cool. no, he, bar he burned the super! The super was really important to keep there. That was a- that was- Threw it away! I wasn't even thinking about it. Kevin says a lot of shit, he definitely does. Wins. You know what's stupid? And, <laughs> uh, Chica Mario would probably have been looking for it. I would have full screen hard with Sandhod in the super. I said, fuck it, I need this match to end, I can't take it. <laughs> that would have been okay, that would have been an okay play. And so would, um, like a hard step into- Hard step into Orochi into super would have been good too. Yeah. Those were all oh, like maybe ways he could have closed one. it out. Maybe that's what he wanted. And Timor did say that DP wasn't what he wanted at all. First time RE7 was great. Was the second time not good? Because RE7 was just a great game. It's not a great game when you play it again unless you really love Uh, If you play it on hard, great. But if you play it a third time, that's when it's uh, frustrating. Is going to be the SF5 rep? I hope it's Rashid. And Marvel's Capcom Infinite? Where she would be all great. Pick, everyone agrees. Yeah. A set of donuts is Nash. Nash has got that cool aspect. He could yeah. fit into it. He could fit into it well. I just I just want Rashid. Oh, that's it. As much as Oh the Chris That was really far away, that low strong. I'm surprised the low yeah. forward hit. This Kareem. She's got legs for days. You see these legs, man? Let's get right here. <laughs> I always love uh, using meter for that. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. I like this. Yep. This is good damage on Kami, too. Yeah. Pays off. That punish. Yep. Oh, punish must time. be nice. Had the shimmy. Didn't confirm. Oh, big punish time! Nothing! Okay. This is about as strong as Kami gets. Saved most of his resources. Oh, the DP! For that. DP beats most follow-ups. It beats almost everything, actually. It doesn't beat Step Away. Just don't dash. Don't dash Ominous. He's looking for it. He's looking for dash. Strike. Yeah, scary game right now. Oof. It's okay, you can play it. Yeah, just play it slow. You got a life lead. Yep. 39 seconds, just don't give up ground. Oh, there oh is. he walked into that. Holy crap. That was pretty close. I guess he was probably, if it was hard to free, he was probably going to sail over Kareen's head on block. Uh, final round. Fight. What does it mean that K Rat almost beat Punk with Karen and Punk ended up being K Rat with Kami? Well, Punk is just really good at the game. I think I think it means that. I don't know what it means. It means that I think they're talking. Yeah, I think that's all it means. Puck sandbags like a mother until money's on the line. I mean, still sand. I think so, yeah. He, what was it? Uh, grand finals against Knuckle Do it. I forget what tournament, but like, they played that song and pony game so much with character swapping. Oh, good spacing on that. Ugh, the stand jab was good, but I don't think it was an ender there. Nah. Maybe a straightaway cancel into Tenko. Because it was a punished jab, I think. Kami hit a button midair and the jab hit him on his landing frames. Oh, I thought he hit him out of the air. It hit him like right as he landed. Got you. Ugh. Ooh, he bet it! That is getting so... That he's... Everyone's getting away with that so much! Stop! <laughs> That's very unsafe! I'm so triggered right now. I mean, I've dropped it before, but I've never dropped I it this win. many times. Yeah. Please. I think the one thing that MBCI communicated to me more than anything else is how badly I actually genuinely want Darkstalkers 4. Because I saw the Jetta reveal and I was like, I wish this was the whole game. Damn. I wish it was just Jetta. And like Donovan. Alicia. Never, I never got into uh, Darkstalkers, unfortunately. I like the characters. It's very strange because there's a mess of mechanics, most of which you never use because you just chain normals. There's poor mechanical balance. It's mechanics that make certain characters strong. And it's, more, it's more like there's a whole bunch of mechanics that, like, most of the mechanics don't really have a place if you're using the optimal mechanics, which is just chaining. Gotcha. 
Chaining is too strong, so there's not a whole lot of reason to do most of anything else. And the mix-ups mostly come from dashes or instant air dashes. And um, you don't need like the mechanics to give you mix-ups because you could just use your basic movement. Could you imagine Skullgirls versus Darkstalkers? That'd be good. That'd be a good game. That'd be cool. And Mike Z. I just want Skullgirls in some other medium. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sequel. Put their character thing. I think it'd be a damn shame to let that game die. Crash jab, trying to contest. Ooh, really yep. Worked. Not a, oh! No, no Hardest like never the version. Maybe he just wanted to get out. It's medium he didn't want to. He didn't want to deal with it. Maybe. He's got a massive late lead, and he's got a round up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When you put it like that, it looks it's kind of good. Yeah. Traded. It's really easy. Do you have a trade The back dash. Oh, hard is the only version. I thought medium flash like that. Mm. Yeah, okay, hard makes more sense then. When Street Fighter vs. Mortal Kombat, never. Capcom said they will literally never do that. They talked about how they would never want to see their their yeah, characters only get such a boring off. mess. Yeah. That's why, dude. Darkstalkers vs. Mortal Kombat is perfect. Dark yeah, we Stalkers, talked about that before. Dark, Darkstalkers characters already rip each other in half. We were talking about that when I first met you, like... Yeah. Holy it's, shit, dude, I met you like four years ago. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> you remember when I was hopeful for Ultra DJ? <laughs> yeah. It's like DJ's been bad so long they wouldn't nerf him again. <laughs> I think I nerfed him in Ultra, I think it was all lost in Ultra. But like AE to, nah, AE to 2012 uh, was DJ nerf. Um, Ultra pre 1.04 was a nerf. Because they made uh, light so about minus three, but not low. Yeah. And that destroyed his footy game. Yeah. Take and then they were like, "Just one virtue to give him something that he already has already redundant with the rest of his hold." Yep, because you could always space it. Because Street Fighter Four was about spacing. The footsies. Minus three is such a uh, shitty fucking number to pick anyway. Round two. Yeah. And then they were like, "All right, we'll give it back, but it's minus five because we don't want him to be overpowered." And the minus five kept him bad because minus five was bad enough that you could punish it. Oh, that shimmy looked good, but he waited so long to hit the button. Yeah. That throw. That went pretty far. Yo, he threaded that needle. This position is so good. Oh. Oh, he reacted to the counter hit. Yeah, that otherwise would have been really sick. Yeah. I'm hoping we get some Persona 5 characters in PBX. Yeah! Tikamar takes it. Or is it 2-2 two, two now? Two. I think it's... I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I think it's 3... I think that was it. Pretty sure that was it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I was paying attention. Thank God. And now we go to Grand Finals. Persona 5 characters would be cool in uh, Blaze View Cross. Want to play as Morgana? Mor Morgana? Morgana? The cat. The kitter. Mona. You can just say Morna. Mona. It's the code name. That's the only character I know. You should know Joker. He's the main character. Nope. Is that the guy with, um. Well, I guess that's the main character. Yeah. Persona 5's cast was like. had like really goods and like some of the worst. <laughs> like some of the best of the series and some of the. Yeah. For the people that were the worst. Ruby was a wild choice to add into a crossover. Yeah, but the art style kind of goes. Please believe when you look at it in a 2D sprite form. At least I think it did. Especially with Ruby using a site. Delay. Catchy godlike. Thank you, Volcane. Oh my god, this use of normals right now is surgical. It's ridiculous. Uh... That's so much fucking damage. Looks like he was trying to buffer a DP motion there. A DP will beat that. Especially Kimmy's V trigger DP. Otaku trash art style. Damn. Oh, 
car is a little too interesting. Yeah. I was doing the recycling recently where I live, and someone pulled up with a car that was covered in, um, uh, what do you call it, decals mm -hmm. of Persona and Disgaea. And like, not just like little decals, like his whole oh, car, God. like the sides and the back were covered in like Disgaea and Persona shit, and I was like, damn, this guy's high level. The hard commit. Yeah. Man has embraced his weeb. It's always those two series. I'm actually like pretty into Disgaea, but I never got into SMT or Persona. Uh, it's funny because I love Disgaea 1, and I didn't play another Disgaea game until Disgaea 5. Mm. Round one. I really liked them. Fight! This guy one has the best story. It's cute. E. I never played D2 too. Oh yeah. I, I haven't it. put in D2 yet, to be honest. I've got. I've it heard somewhere. that it's it's the next best after <laughs> the first one. Cause it's Laharl again. Ooh. Use the button. Dit Gaia ascended. That spacer with the low strong. Yeah. The last. Disco is like, Disco's putting on a clinic right now. And remember, it's Grand Finals. Disco is in winner bracket, uh, two more end losers. Good you tech. love the party in P5? Did you not play P5? Oh my god, this rejump pressure is so good. Yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. I just keep like watching and I'm like, please. Like, There's no good way even out of it. Nah. I mean, as Bison, you can, um. Jump can back hell attack. Good. Yeah. Hell no, attack. jump back, hell attack. Yeah. Because it gives enough timing. All the course down. Oh, the super combo. Max, max, max damage. Also oh, funny. Uh, Bison super does stun. I never got rid of it, which surprised me. It does? I know mm -hmm. that. I know if you do Inferno those... into Super, there are some Inferno hits after the Super, and they do stuns. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Because I remember... I saw you can stun someone with the Inferno hits after the Super Activate. Yeah. But I don't think Super itself does stun. There's some shenanigans you can do with that, though. Like, the, yeah. the game gets confused trying to juggle... That's like, what it is. Timing. That's what it is. It's the Inferno into... It, that, the, the extra... Have you seen the Monot super glitch? Question mark whether it's even a glitch. Uh... The opponent builds absolutely no meter while no. eating Monot super. It's one no. of the only attacks in the game where the opponent doesn't get any meter from eating it. Whoa. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Fight. I don't like that. <laughs> it probably... Although, actually... Probably I take that back. I kind of... I want more shit like that in the game, honestly. It might be deliberate. It feels like Monot... Like, little aspects of Monot are like... Yeah. <laughs> Like that. Like, that's not so dissimilar from her B meter from counter hits. Yeah. Skrr. Some component of Rose, like, you know. The stun, Tikamora, bringing it back. Let's go, Tikamora. Show him you ain't free. I don't know about that meter use. I would have ended with the light spiral arrow and just taken the OP. Was that a punish? He did a really late V trigger activate. I don't know if it was a punish or he just called him moving forward. It looks punishy. How I tried Pyre by Supergiant Games, NBA Jam beats Persona. Played a little bit of it. Did you play it? I don't even know what that is. Have Pyre. you played Bastion or no. Transistor? I know of Bas uh, Bastion. Oh, uh, it's it. it's by them. It's, right. It was their third game. Um, the music's really good. The art style is really good. Did she just do stand jab? Yep. It was like stand jab yep. back strong, low jab low strong, and it like all comboed. Yep. yep. Gross, gross, dude. Yep. She's got some stupid stuff, man. Right, Tikamora. Yeah, right on time. This won't kill, right? You sure? I don't know. I think it won't. It's okay, good. Oh, he got oh, punished. Oh, there it was! He just don't deal with I mean, he, that was his only punish there, so I feel like it was a good idea. But now yeah. he's got such a road. Ah, I saw that coming a mile away. Pyre, an indie surprise? I don't know why you were surprised by the people that made Bash and Transistor. Oh, that lack of anti-air. I don't know what he could have done there, but... looks awfully awkward. Probably Blast. Ugh. That's it. Punish. Alright. Tikamura, not going down without a fight. Swinging away. Vega should have his V-Trigger increased to three bars and used twice. I don't even feel like... I don't even 
not even used three bars, just use twice, just end there. The main factor about V trigger Vegas V trigger being strong is that it comes to a super, but you can only do that once. Like per V trigger. So that also like, doesn't fix his problem. Him having two roses Why? wouldn't hurt. It, like, he has a, it would do anything. He has a he has a lot of problems, unfortunately, and that doesn't fix them. I feel like rose into rose would be kinda cool though. Like imagine if you could get like uh, straight rose into up rose if you and that was like your meter in the center. Yeah. Or like uh, straight rose into super. Wake up, sweet. He wanted V reversal. Yeah, hundred percent wanted reversal. I wish the down rose was a better anti air than it is. It's like surprisingly mediocre. Like honestly, the yeah. straight rose is like a better anti air than the down rose is. Yep. I wish EX flying Barcelona was a good uh, anti air. It kind of is, but you just have to do it like really fucking early. Sometimes. If it trades, it's not good, and if it loses, it's mega not good. It kind of is good if it trades. But how often do things really trade? I think it needs a big comeback trigger more than anybody else to I don't, think I, don't, so. I don't think so. Vegas comeback trigger is already pretty good. Or his trigger, like that's the one thing his trigger does is it lets him make comebacks. Yeah. I just... Oh my god, I don't even want to get started on Vega. Alright, alright, I got it. Vegas speed trigger, it's like a timer, and it makes all his normals go full screen. Like the nails on his quads get really, really long. Oh so god, crouch, get out of here. Crouch jab is like a full screen normal. Oh, I got uh, something. Max strong sucks. I got something that doesn't really help as much, but it's cool. Yeah. Um, make it so, make it call it bloody claw, and make it so all of his uh. Claw normals do bleed damage. Yeah, so they take like damage over time. Oh, yep. <laughs> I like exactly. that. Exactly. All right, this guy just lost really fast while I wasn't even watching. I mean, Tikamaru's on the comeback. 2-2. Two, two. Tikamaru trying to reset this. What happened? That was like a fast match. Uh, Tikamaru got into the corner. That was, uh, that was pretty much it. In the first round, at least. The biggest V-Trigger turns into Mango Sentinel. Yo, yo, yo curly mustache. I forgot about that. Why is it not like that? Alex Nian, Alex EX Nian, third strike hits on the ground. Like, even the other versions don't, but the EX one does. Why doesn't it do that in this game? Because Capcom's afraid to make a DLC character that's overpowered uh, because they don't want to they don't want a repeat of uh, AE. I don't think they're afraid of making a DLC character overpowered. They're definitely afraid of making a DLC character. I mean, they don't want to make Yun. But like, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying Balrog's out there, and like Yurian's out there, and Guile's out there, and Akuma's out there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but neither. Well, I shouldn't say neither. I should. Yurian and Guile, at least what from most people are saying, aren't top five anymore. I would maybe agree with. Yurian not being top 5. Guile, I feel like he's creeping there. I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. It's hard to say. Yeah. Figures V Trigger makes a tissue come out to the screen to stop all the crying. <laughs> he actually I wish that. Dude. That's what Ed needs. Tikamura can, like. I feel like if he resets the back, he's got a really good chance of winning the whole thing. Yeah. Ooh, grab the sister kick. I feel like we're not gonna go back to back and forth. Oh. Oh, what a Ow. bad punish. Oh, I think he wanted, no. like, dash into something, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe he wanted Stand Fierce. He wanted something that wasn't a fucking charge move. Ooh, that Probably Stand Fierce, though. Yeah. Oh, that back strong trade was really bad. Has to cancel. Keep it nice and safe. That was good. Wow, I haven't seen that cancel in a while. That's really strange. The shimmy nice. and the super. T Camara, not dropping it. Resets. We got those. I want Alex to be able to special cancel slash elbow to stomp or headbutt That'd or knee. Teleport EX slash that crosses up. Get out of here, I'm Davis. Scared of these suggestions. Listen, if I actually made something, I would try and I would like, try really hard to fix the game. I would enhance Alex's pokey options. That's what I would do. Okey options or poking options? Poke, poking. poking. Uh, I said pokey. Triangle. Uh, um, I think he should be a more neutral oriented character. I feel like Abigail, like Abigail, somehow got like the play style that Alex is supposed to have, where it's like, yeah, he's got like. He's got a command grab, but you don't even care because you can just poke. Yeah. And then his damage is just through the roof. I think it's just because Alex's damage potential with his pokes is so shitty. 
Like, he doesn't get anything by playing Fuzzies. And then, you know, you're playing against a Balrog, or you're playing against, you know, Guile, or you're playing against Urian, and you eat that one Stand Fierce Crush Counter, and you're eating, you know, as much damage as you just spent 30 seconds doing in three seconds. That's definitely the problem with a lot of characters in this game is the uh, the risk reward, yeah. Which is which is Vega's pr biggest problem in my opinion. Yeah, they're afraid to give too much reward at all, ever. But they're yeah. not afraid to give too much risk. I feel like Abigail's the only character who where his risk reward is actually like like his reward Skewed, is, as, is as high as it should be for the yeah. risks he takes. Yeah. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, wasn't a safe. Might job. have been. Okay. A, yeah. That's uh, I think that's a five frame DP. The X one might be four. Either I want to say you should be able to safe jump it with perfect. Four sounds right. My, my guess is that he, uh, if he didn't hit a button, he would have been fine. Maybe just new empty jumps. The X is three. Spad knows. You can't safe jump. Yo, now. it is. I forgot about that. I think I did know that at some point. Cannot safe jump with three frame DP. Even if you empty jump it, because he looked like he um, was really close to the ground. Oh yeah, you came with an empty jump. Okay. Well, just not with a button. Ox folks don't cancel, and they're mostly minus on block. I don't think they need to make them cancel, I just think they need to make them... Yeah. Like, really good. Cancel doesn't make everything. Like, you can have a good footsie button and it just be a poke. Like, Kareem stand forward, uh, Kami stand forward. But you need to have good hit in her foxes. I feel like and, Alex uh, should be safer. Vendetta. Yeah. I think that's what I actually want. If there was, like, any Alex change that I could make, it would be Alex, like, all... All flash chops like minus one on block, and then like maybe like most slash elbows like minus two on block. Maybe all. I feel like that's the Alex I want. I think heavy should always be punishable. Wins. Yeah, probably but unsafe heavy. I'm not. I'm not saying like make it like minus ten, but like it should at least be minus five or six because of the reward you get for heavy. Medium, I could be like, all right, make it you know minus three, minus four, but make it so you can space it. Light oh, should be minus two. It is minus two, isn't it? They made it minus two just recently. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. And the chops already are kind of hard to punish, but I just want them yep. to be like better still. Heavy flush up should be plus on block. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. If they make it like slower still, I I take some extra startup frames to make it plus on block. Oh, that was nice. Back up in the corner when he was almost done at the perfect time. Yep. That has been not paying off for him until just now. That's the first time it paid off, because Tikamura, like, read all the other times. Oh, he had the right reaction! That fireball and its ability for the whole drill. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, he had it! Kami has a lot of, like, little things that are just symptoms of high tiers. Like, an armored attack would have, like, you know, it would have gotten hit there. Yep. That might work. Oh my lord. Wow. That's that three frame startup working. He was Holy close enough crap. to hit on his first frame. What a good super towards the corner. The jump oh, was too early. Kami shouldn't have been able yeah. to super in that direction. Nah, definitely not. Alex needs a better V skill. Uh, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I don't disagree. I feel like it should just save up the hard hit until he connects. Like, block doesn't matter, Alex taking damage doesn't matter. It's just your next hit that you actually get to counter hit. That would be a good start. I think damage should matter, but I don't think block should matter. Because, like, I shouldn't be constantly afraid the entire match of getting. Nah, I'm okay with that, because it doesn't get up these skills for free. You're not wrong. Oh, couldn't do it. It was still punished. Oh, just ate it. That's a really shitty situation to be in. Ate a shit ton of white health and the. One more. One more mix-up, we'll do it into super. Oh, that's it. Hot and press and boutons. Right, is that one one? This is looking, uh, this is looking more back yeah. and forth than I was thinking. That's one one. I will say that, uh, Jin Incredible, or Jin Credible rather, uh, I think that Alex should have more combo options in terms of like, when you look at third strike, and you hit a heavy chop, you can go into so many things. Yeah. I mean, not that you do, but you can. It's like three things people actually do. Yeah, but like, it's True Fighter 5, it's... Yeah. You do heavy chop into... Was it a counter hit? Okay, I'm doing backdrop. That's it. I don't know. Give him a... Give him back medium kick and make it five frames. <laughs> 
Sure. And make it make it a medium kick from third strike. Yeah, I feel like that almost missing. I don't really understand why. Kind of split hard, hard hits, crush kind of hits on lights. <laughs> I wonder if we could have chased that down. Her DPS don't have like a whole lot of angling when you're in B trigger. They don't have a whole nah. lot of angling anyway. Maybe maybe dash DP, but that would have been risky. That would have been a hard read. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a drill. Chase it down with a drill. Drill would have hit, but it it would yeah, have maybe probably wouldn't gotten. have gotten any sort of meaningful connect. We got like one hit, which would have been the waste of the meter. Yeah, and drills only do like twenty per hit or something. Yeah, it's really shitty. Oh, the back strong. He sees it. Early jump fierce. Not even early jump strong. That's faster and does more damage if you're looking for those right arrows. Yeah, really. The big Damai, though. And what's for breakfast? Ah, throw. Just throws. Oh, oh, jump strong that... hit really early. Yeah, that may be That might be her most vertical air normal. Oh, definitely. That was most nice. definitely. Oh, the jump over was so bad there. Ooh, it looked like Disco knew. He's like, she's gonna bounce off this. Oh my god, this position. Oh, this might actually kill, because he's gonna get a yeah, super. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, he's gonna build a super with this. Oh no! Oh, my last super! Still looks really good, but. Oh, just in, got him. In my world, that's a perfect. Yeah. wins. I mean, the super juggles after that blast, right? I don't think I've ever seen that combo. Actually, I don't know. Heavy Inferno. Light, yeah, I don't. Light blast. Now that you say that, I've never seen it either. Maybe it's Gosh. corner only, or maybe it just always works. I don't know. You guys are ridiculous. Making up these combos. You could definitely combo blast oh, into super. But that's kind of a, like a max range blast. Yeah. That's nice. Disco said he always drops that. Yo, these back strong trades are so bad for Tikamura. This is the safe jump. Alright. Me use a little telegraph there. The back dash. Yeah, that's the lot. tech. That's a punish. That's the tech, man. Fear rate, nice to fear rate is a good response to dive kick. EX dive kick. Or B trigger dive kick, rather. Yeah. Jump short. It's a good ass so response good. to Kenny jump back there. That's he was so ready. Deep tech right there. Yo, he is so ready right now. Disco tournament point. Yep. I Is he gonna be the next jump path? Short jump short has like a better hitbox, but jump jab has um, no input overlap, whereas jump short has input overlap with stomp. Yeah. It's kind of awkward when it's like holding down back and then you hit up back and light kick and then you get a stomp. It's like oh. What's her breakfast? Is the best Oki call ever? I think it was Aris that started that. Ugh. Jimmy was nice. Yeah. He oh, there. that was so good! This might kill! Yeah. He went for yes, absolute max damage. Yes, he did. <laughs> Speaking of Eris. <laughs> yeah. Damn good shit. That was great. Good shit, guys. It's go time. Was that finals? Yeah. Yeah. GG. That was uh, those grand finals. I lost a leg and also the guy who won the tournament. Could be worse. Could be worse. <laughs> Join the lady casuals. Yeah, I'll give you one. Let's do it. My Minot has did... sick combos in training mode, dude. I believe it. I'm like a training mode monkey with this character right now. Yeah. And in the perfect world, I'll be an online monkey too. Wanna know who wins? I wish the game models didn't clip so much. It's yeah. actually really frustrating to see it. It's very ugly. 
Because it's like no other fighting game that I watch has clipping like that. Like not even Injustice with how much yeah. different gear sets they had at launch has clipping like that. They're careful to, in every other fighting game, they're careful to hide what clipping occurs because it's hard to prevent. But in this one they're not. I always hope to hit people before the orb hit. Yeah. My go-to response is good for me not. Wow. I can throw the normal there. Oh my god, oh! that fat throw range. Yeah, that's something that I haven't gotten used to yet. This her throw range. Made for me. Round two. Fight. Oh fuck. Look. How that hit me? I don't know. It's because it has to return to in front of her. Rather than behind her. Oh fuck. That hit you on the ground. I'm oh, such god. a body. I didn't get Tenko. Ugh. You win. I had a combo to kill after the orb hit on the um Resena thing. Yeah. But all I had to do was like stand short in V scale, but I didn't see it. Yeah. I wish there was a way to like stop or send out. Cause like you use it in a very different Round one. cleavy soul does. Fight. I could have gone for there if I was more careful. Yeah. That bitchy win code against Karen, I didn't even see. Aren't you under retro games? Do you still ever? Am I really? I yeah, be. I changed it. Uh, people must have not refreshed the stream. No, it probably it probably it. didn't change. When you yeah, Twitch has been weird Twitch, like that. It's if you it like changes when you first start to change it when the page like fully loads it like changes it back. Yeah. Fight. Oh, that was a punish. That button. Not usually we do that sort of stuff. What? Pressing the box makes it kind of picky. Yeet. Round two. Got him. Fight. 
Wah. Players wake up short. You rap for that clacking is so familiar. No, I'm actually using a, but because of my setup for when I play fighting games, uh, I'm pretty close to my mic, so my fight stick is like under it, so it can't really get rid of the sound by filtering it. Unfortunately, because I'm a baddie. Round one. I love Soul Throw. I hate that she can't do it. It seems really unnecessary. Yeah, I know what you mean. I thought that was my cross. Oh, fuck. Look at that combo. I was not ready God, for that. Like... Alright, it's fine. That was extremely awkward on my part. Because Minot does like no damage. Oh, 20 damage. Her damage her damage output is honestly a little too low for me too. That was the X Tenko twice that I missed. <laughs> oh, I attacked that one. That was very unsafe. Ah, shit. Yeah. It's a work in progress. I like her as a character in. Capcom again is just so fucking afraid to make DLC characters really OP at launch. No, I don't think it's I don't think that's a thing for her. I think she's probably pretty it's good, but it's time. just it's just her character design is gonna take a while. Yeah, I, I guess that too. Stack that on top of the fact that I don't have much practice. But like Like uh, I said, I think she could still use a few things. Damage is the biggest thing. Or like consistency. Like give her soul throw without orb. Just make it do less damage. That would be fine. I don't see why it's locked behind the orb. Alright, here's my dank idea. You want to hear it? Um, yeah, good. If you do quarter circle back punch with no orb, it moves the orb to the location of the punch relative to you. So like, if the orb is really fucking far away, you do down back light punch, it moves it to where down forward light punch would throw the orb. I feel like it would make her really complicated, but I also really like that idea for the people that make really crazy fucking setups with her. Yeah. She does take a lot of work. Minot does, at least. Fight. I'm so 
so bad. Don't worry. Ah. I don't know. I didn't realize you were so close to dead. Yeah. I'm stupid. I should just Mujin kept. Round two. God, that beat my same job. Five frame standing normal, or five frame light normal. It's suffering. Yeah. Welcome to Vega. Yeah. <gasps> that was supposed to be Crutch I'm a noob. Oh fuck, that was an accident. Oh my god, help. Oh fuck. Not a good day for him not combo. Help. Orbs to punish that. Yes, you could have. <laughs> like I told Cleavy Solo, not a single Manat player that I've played yet has. It's a lot harder than it looks. I I mean I believe it. Just like a lot of people, like when I first started playing Urian, were like, oh my god, like they they move out of Aegis, like they jump or like backdash or veer reversal or do all these sorts of things. I'd be like, oh my god, why aren't you scared of Aegis? Why should I be? Um, can't interrupt it with, uh, I guess Stan Short's not far enough. Of course not. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Oh my god. Uh. I expected the sand short to tap. Mm. Oh my god, I'm 100% attacker. You 100% what? I'm 100% attacker. Born and bred to tech throws like a retard. Mm. I only recently started going for shimmies more often, because uh, Cleave always yelled at me, because I don't incorporate things into my game enough. Round one. Fight! Oh shit. Oh my god. Cool! Her get-up animation still fucks. God, brain. Oh shit! I'll look forward. I want slight approach. Go forward. Ugh. I keep on looking for button into V trigger, and the buttons I do get kind of hit. It's like low strong most of the time. Seven frames. Yeah. A little too much. That's why I'm using Sandshrew so much. Oh, that worked. 
it's hard to do. I thought it was a bad I'm angle. actually... I'm actually surprised I got that. I can never get that around that. I don't get it consistently, but I always go... You lose. Whoa. Alright, I got some adaptations. You got some adaptations? Maybe. Sounds like I should switch characters. <laughs> I don't care. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna stay with you. But this will probably be my last one. Alright, fair enough. Yee yee. Yee. I gotta find another game uh, to play. I don't know what to. I was playing Destiny 2 a bit, and it's, uh, it's kinda. Everyone's kinda playing it, so it's, uh, I kinda get lost in the crowd. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um. And JRPGs are so, like. Who wants to sit down and watch a JRPG for, like, 70 hours? Me. I mean, yeah. That's why I like hanging out with you. But, you know. Yeah. We're not like everybody else. Round one. Fight. I backdash a lot there. It doesn't do anything. Oh, that's bad. Jinky ass reset. So I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I didn't realize that you were going for throw. I thought you did throw. my orb. Oh, the jab. Yeah. Orbless jab is not horrible, but it tends to lose. It doesn't even tend to trade. Like, good timing, it'll still lose. But this is officially territory that I never want to be in. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh How shit. I get that. I don't. Good question. Was then a Monop bug with plus seven? Anyone figure that out? I don't know what, what even that's referring to. I don't either. Why do they say Karen Kanzaki but never say Kami Wait or Ken Masters? Or... I don't know. Probably some uh, Japanese ass tradition about names and estates. Yeah, because Kami's English or British. Uh, oh, Ken's yeah. American. Lara's Brazilian. Right. And Lara says Masuda often because she's trying to. Uh, build the dojo's name. Just like Makoto said, Rinokan Karate. Got my orb back anyway. That was a punish. Yep. Ooh, I didn't get any Bhutans. Trading, trading. I couldn't make any of those. Cammy's manufactured. Cammy's not manufactured, she was abducted. Ah, oh, I gotta take this mean pick. Ah. Hit. 
Oh, I tried to punish it, bro, to be honest. Uh, nasty. I'm a choke artist. I should have gone. It's so hard. Whoa. Okay. It's so hard to time. I can't believe I fucking got. <laughs> I want to pull you in and then do it, but you're still locked on. Fight. Didn't time it very well. Ah. Why is my crutch here so shitty? I dropped that a little hard. <laughs> I got scared. I was so far away. Yeah, you were really far. That was weird. You lose. Is that why you're supposed to use slide there? Um, slide is... It's... I don't know if there's actually a purpose for slide. A lot of people use slide early on, and a lot of people are still using slide. But it doesn't... It uses one orb instead of two. But the rejump is a significant damage increase. Yeah. And it's not really any harder. And they also, the region works for more ranges. So, I don't know. Oh fuck, I'm such a baddie. Don't know how to hit buttons. I shot all of them. <laughs> oh god. That's fine. Oh my god, I keep missing EX Tenko. <laughs> Scary. Oh, no follow up? I tried to do the super, but I missed it. There's a juggle uh -huh. and a cancel window, and I did some time between them. The button there is probably like some kind of jab. I can't believe I didn't cross up. Uh. Damn, fuck it did. I thought you were gonna critical it, that's why I initial jumped. You could have uh, EXR sent Hunter if it even did, and I think you recover first. I would have gotten more damage from initial jump though. That's true. Yes, yes, yes. Round one. Fight! Ah, oh, fuck. I did this in strong, not really to hit you, but more to remind you that jumping would be good. So it looked like I wasn't thinking about nine tier. Such a strange world. I thought it was barking. Oh shit. Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't expect the side change. Gotta throw it out every once in a while. Round two. 
who really don't like walking forward when Orb is out. I mean, it's not. It's yeah. basically you gotta be cheesy. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I didn't get two times. I got a punish. Ugh, what a bad angle. Who does that there? I do that there. Shit. Ah, I took super. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said, man. You gotta go for it. <laughs> I was gonna walk forward, but I kept like I kept looking at that orb that you still had, and I was like, I need to get in faster. <laughs> I could just log in super damn it. You can. You had V trigger. So? I would have checked you out. Oh. You were super in too. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it. Oh my god, that was so sloppy. God oh, damn it, why do you always do that? Because you're not doing anything different. Oh my god, I missed it. Oh, my back got there is so bad. Oh! The percent house are just fucking uh, reeds. I'll backdash that word toss. I don't know what I do there. It's okay, I drop combos. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I hate her throw range. I can't shimmy her as well. Luckily, that is uh, pretty generous with its uh, hitbox for a mid-air connect. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh god. I missed it! I was like, cool, I got it! What a mess. Nope. I tried to release some warps during a block string, but you've got to be, you've got to do it during the, the frames between. Yeah. Which can be hard. Probably a punish, I don't know. Yeah. I hate that I don't have a follow up after we, like normal sweep. <gasps> Look, it's fine. I want to do the other one. It would have killed, I promise. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. God! Did you hear me, like, stutter? Yeah. I, like, tried to walk forward more, and I, like... Yeah. That sucked. I will GG's. Yee! Good shit. I could see her being a character for you. Yeah, I'm just gonna take some time. Yeah, just based on how you played Elena. Yeah. I'm getting like I'm getting vibes of that. Just on how you play. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab some food. Thanks for holding the back Yee. up with me. Yee, of course, anytime. Later. See ya. That goes for you guys too.